Hey, Backgammon fans, Bill Riles, Tara Mendocino, Ace Point Backgammon here in Las Vegas, broadcasting uh, from the Las Vegas Open. And in maybe 30 minutes or so, we're going to have the championship final match between Ronald Wertheim and Zdeni Ziska from the Prague, Czechoslovakia, or Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Now. Czech hey, Bill. No, hey, Bill. Or, Can I help you out just a little bit? No. It's Zdenek Zizka. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to take... Tell me uh, I'm wrong, Zdenek. Tell me I'm wrong. A little You're wrong. <laughs> but that is the correct pronunciation of your name. Well, yeah? No, but it's oh, okay. Well, you told me. So, oh, you know, it's so anyway, we want care. to uh, take a few <laughs> minutes to introduce y'all to uh, ZZ. I'll go the easy way. And... Uh, let y'all get to know him, see what his thoughts are about being in the final of the Las Vegas Open yes, here. Yeah, cool. Well, what do you think? Well, it's pretty awesome since I just decided two weeks ago it that I'm going to come here. So the I thanks, Rory. Sorry. <laughs> the so really good. Really feel good. Feel great to be here. I mean, this is my one of the favorite cities in the U.S. for sure because, well, of course, it's Vegas. Right? Yeah. So good to be here. Well, that's great. Now, have you? Uh, well, you played some great matches and what have you. I'm sure you've enjoyed yourself. And uh... <laughs> oh, now, have you? I, I don't think you played Ronald. Have you seen? Uh, have you watched him play or seen any any of his matches? Not at all, actually. Uh, this is the first time I saw him. I met him. This is the first time I saw the name. So for me, I've got no idea who am I up against. Yeah. So this is well. That's kind of a. This is what that's kind of neat sometimes. You know? Yeah, this is basically premiere for me. I mean, so will you such an important match? Will against... you maybe in the first game or two try to at least think about identifying who he is and how he plays and what have you? Bill, you know, I always play fun, so it's like I always do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will always play a fun match for sure. <laughs> and yes, you play a fast try. match. Oh, yeah, also. Well, that's my game i like well, you that. know it was interesting <laughs> <enjoyed> uh, <laughs> it was interesting to me yesterday when you played dennis and dennis of course is a a very good player very experienced player but i mean it seemed like you got on him early you're playing very fast and confidently and it just seemed like a snowball rolling down the hill you know yeah well i, I mean i got super lucky that night so there's no like i mean it was just, of course, I mean, I played fast, but it was like, well, as we, as we spoke before, right, in previous streams, it's, um, especially at the beginning, they are not that important decisions. So actually, I realized I made a few stupid things, which in DMP, I would think more about it. But yeah, just, I mean, every match, I've got different pace, which I'm getting to, and it's just, I mean, I don't know, I just, as you said, well, enjoying well, myself. Yeah, <laughs> well, that one, to me, looking at it and commenting on it, it just seemed, I mean, everything was going your way. It was. You're playing the the super speed fast just kind of emphasizes that your confidence and and so forth and you know i wouldn't have expected it to affect dennis and i don't know that it did but i can imagine it can be intimidating to some players who perhaps haven't played you before oh, or yeah. in a or in a yeah new circumstance you know? well if that's the only thing how i can intimidate players because i don't think it's because of the looks but <laughs> <laughs> well i know and, and it's going to be interesting and and ron ronald did oh did not when you were playing fast oh, wait, wait, it was speed gun <laughs> 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 trying to intimidate you. <laughs> well i know it's interesting ronald did have the opportunity his semifinal was uh streamed yesterday mm -hmm. not on a commentated match but yeah. on the other stream but he did have a at least a little exposure to being in there and having a match streamed so um you know i can imagine he's he's playing zz right he's playing a stream match with commentary um it's a new environment for him hopefully uh hopefully it it doesn't bother him and he can play a you know, well, play his best match. No, hopefully he bo it bothers him. And <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be just, <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what are you cheering for? Well, I'm, I'm talking as, for the viewers as a whole here. I have to be objective, you know. Oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah. You're one of those, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he can get sitting behind me. He asked if uh, I thought uh, Z played play particularly easy. fast. I think you play faster than most um oh open players championship players now you can be uh deliberate when necessary certainly who's faster 
Oh, <laughs> you can't get into the fence. Huh? Oh my! <laughs> I said then Mo, she wants to know who's faster. Oh, no, and let me tell me how I should play, and I'll just play. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, there are there are a number that play pretty, but you contrast that with, you know, and and it's just individual styles. I mean, MCG, Mochi, Michi, uh, they yeah. play a little at a measured pace. Let's. Say, you know all right i'll play that as well <laughs> <laughs> no i kind of enjoy i mean the viewers like seeing it fast but uh so let's see you're kind of introduced you to these people you're from prague i'm from prague you czech uh, republic czech republic, czech republic. I got, see, from I'm, 1993 I'm so old that for the majority of my life it was the other name so i know so i you know. have to give me And then everyone know that everyone will know. Oh, great! Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Finally. Oh, okay. I'm just talking to myself. Car <laughs> talking off to the side. We were talking to Z the uh, several days ago, and he was talking about there's some at least preliminary planning and thoughts toward having a tournament in Prague here in the next couple of three years or whatever. Exactly. And I've personally never been to Prague. I've been to many cities in Europe, but everyone tells me that. That's a place I need to go. So, and we, we like it to, is. Tar and I, and we go to Monte Carlo and Cyprus oh, yeah. and various places. We like to often in, include a little vacation side trip, maybe even when we first arrived to acclimate time wise and so yeah. forth and so on. So, uh, Prague is definitely on our, our bucket list, you know? Good, good. Glad to hear. <laughs> now, this is, uh, you've been to the States a few times before, huh? few times three times or four times yes yeah. yes 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 so to new york la and vegas that's it yeah so, okay um, well that's good not do you it. like it oh <laughs> it's different i'm sure it's different that's uh that's how i'd like to describe it <laughs> <laughs> now, i guess you're you're uh your mom and Hansa and all the others from Prague are going to be watching this. Episode. Well, if we start in 10 minutes, then yes, but then they'll go to sleep. So <laughs> she'll watch it on recording. Oh, they'll, watch, they'll watch, of course, of course. Well, I know she was giving, called you immediately after the match with Mochi and gave you a little flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course she does that. Huh? Yeah, she Tara, they can't hear her at the side, maybe. Zdenik, who prides himself on his speed and speed gammon and super speed gammon, he played Kit in the speed gammon yesterday, and if I'm not mistaken, you lost. So uh, what yeah, happened? So why don't we just skip that? <laughs> why don't, we, it's like, <laughs> don't bring up bad memories. <laughs> it's not a good start of the day, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I just lost. It was 7-1. I won one game. That was it, so... It was unfortunate. I yeah. Guess everyone. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Well, <laughs> okay. So, um, but let's see. Why don't you mention juniors? Which juniors? 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 Yeah. You got seniors and juniors. Oh, you're in the juniors? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, you're the only player in the field, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cutoff? 50? So there may be a few more than you. Yeah, I was really surprised that, like, um, yeah, that it, the cutoff is 50. So that are was you a bit interesting the, for me. Like, did you win the juniors or are you in the finals? I'm in the finals, but they have to fill in some more players. Okay. So either I won or I'm in the finals. And are they going to, is that a standalone or are they then going to play the seniors? I don't know. I think it's, I hope it's just a standalone. I mean, I, no, I don't know. I don't want to see more comments actually to this because. Well, and you want to, I, I think uh, you were telling me you want to get this match over with and then perhaps play in the Mochi Millions. That's exactly what I wanted to edit. That's what, exactly why I like because there's a Mochi Million starting in 3 p.m. And you remember how we had a deadline, right? Until 8 p.m. that the match has to be finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is exactly what I plan to do now. I need to finish the match. Well, to 20 p.m. So, 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 so you're going to keep and the I phone laying here so oh, yeah. you oh, can of see course. the time. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Text me when it's a short time <laughs> so I can. <laughs> so uh, let's see. If any of y'all have any uh, questions for ZZ, throw them out here. And uh, don't hate my hair, please. 
So I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm asking for questions now. So if anybody's got anything to uh, comment upon, but, uh, Again, this should be a fun little match. Ron Wordheim has played in some of our, quite a few of our Houston weekly tournaments mm. that we oh, run online. Oh, no, I online. know him a bit. Um, you know, and, and he's, he's a competent player. I don't think he's, as, he's not as consistent as the top-level players. But, mm. I mean, he can, he can put up some good numbers, and, uh, but he can blow up. Too. Kind of like me. I, mean, I can play a four. I can play an eight. Oh, yeah. like you. Okay, it's easy match. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to send out immediately now. Have we ever played? We, I mean, you've won so many heroes tournaments that if we played, I lost. So, again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, question. I don't think, um, I mean, I just don't play that much on, well, I play online, but... Well, it's a difficult question. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just have one day grind, so I'll just try to take it back. But, well, it's a good question. I'll think about it, actually. I'll think about whether I'll try Okay, and this, uh, this is 15? 15 point 15, matches. 15 point. And uh, what advice do you have for a novice? Buy your book. For a novice. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the video <laughs> course. Actually, on that Another note, book. actually, this gentleman right here, Mark, what is your last name? Dear Darren. Dear Darren. Just won the novice division. He just happened to oh, walk up at, okay. the, at the same moment. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, just hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's mom. Oh, She's mom's here. There. No uh, there. Well, book. I mean, it depends. If you like to read, then of course the book. If you don't like to read and you want to hear some fun and learn at the same time, then the video courses which I've recorded, they're cool. Among other other books, what are some of your favorite books or that you might recommend to, to people? What do you I like? Don't read books, so you don't read books. No. <laughs> you just write them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're not uh, no plugs for anyone here. No, I'm weird. I don't read. <laughs> okay. Well, look, I'll uh, I'll let you. I saw Ron go in the room, oh, so cool. we'll let you so head that direction. What score should I win or lose? I don't know. <laughs> um, just tell me. It's gonna be fun when it happens. I, I think so. the. Uh, I don't know. I, don't I mean, if you feel like fifth, just imagine the fun. What what fun can be there, you know? Imagine you say fifty nine, right? Yeah. And suddenly the score is eleven nine, and I'm oh my god! I will be I will be sitting there and I will be like for Bill, I want to win the game for Bill, not for the tournament. <laughs> Who cares about winning the tournament, right? There you go. But just for the fun. Online. Okay. Okay. Well, have a great match. Thank you and, very much. Uh, and good best of luck. luck. We'll Thank uh, you. we'll see you later. Thank you very much. Well, hopefully you'll uh, finish within. Uh, Two hours and 45 minutes, and you can play in the Mochi Million. Hopefully. Thank you. <laughs> okay, man. I'll do my best to Good luck. finish early. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, Zizi. Cheers. Thank you. Where can I buy all those Bill. Uh, Bill, that? thank you very much for all you're doing. Uh, make this stream fantastic. Uh, you've been doing a lot of work this weekend, and uh, it's just been great. Thank you to both you and Tara so much for... Uh, providing this great stream to back and galaxy for allowing us to stream on their um uh youtube channel folks i hope you enjoy the match should be fantastic uh right after this one we have the masters jackpot final between jeff hall and yeah, no, matt Hungar. oh matt Hungar, i apologize matt Hungar and it will see we'll see that's what i thought okay you guys okay. have a great afternoon of backgammon and uh, I'll see you later. Okay. And we're going to uh, have this match starting pretty soon. We've got some, I see Ray sitting behind me. He, he's probably willing to say a few words. Steve, uh, Steve wants to do some commentary as soon as he flushes out of the last chance. Uh, well, it might be a while. Neil, uh, Neil wants to do a little, but he's in the last chance as well. So sit down, Ray. No. I figured I wouldn't be able to commentate if I won any matches in the last chance. So, so, I, so you uh, <laughs> flushed out early, huh? I, I took a dive. <laughs> All right, I got a big coffee. Okay, well, Tara will, uh, she's getting them kicked off and she'll come out here and adjust the camera a little bit. Well, it's already adjusted for a two man seat because uh, Zedinic was out here. Ron had Ron uh, Wordheim lives here in Vegas area, so he had to drive in this morning. So we had a few extra minutes and uh, took the chance to talk to ZZ. 
There's something. This camera must be out of focus. I look old. <laughs> well, that's your, your bad side. And <laughs> do I have a good I one? <laughs> I don't know. Probably better not comment on that. Yeah. Well, he was rushing. The other finalist was rushing to get in here. Um, I think they're going to go ahead and start the match, but perhaps afterwards, um, you know, we'll have a chance to introduce him as well. Certainly, if he were to to beat ZZ. Well, it wouldn't be a, I think it would be an upset, but uh, I think Ron is like 2,800. Yeah, Ron's a, a certainly a very competent right player. Right behind us, so, oh no, they're, they're, that's him in there, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's like 2,800 on Galaxy. Uh -uh. He's a, certainly a competent open player. I don't think he's quite as consistent as the elite group of players, perhaps, but he's certainly capable of playing a three or a four. Um, he plays a lot of poker, and um, the other thing is that he's been playing a ton of backgammon, but um, when I've played him, which isn't very much, the uh, there just seems to be some gaps in the sequence. But I think that's because he's probably only been playing backgammon, you know, for a one third or one quarter of the time, all these other guys, you know, I got about okay, off and running 40 years. ZZ at the uh, bottom of the board playing the dark checkers, Ron at the top playing the white 15 point match. Now, I'll be interested to see because I know I'm gonna just call him Z. Yeah, I don't really know, <laughs> but he was playing, a, I guess, lightning fast in Monte Carlo and he reached the finals doing that. He got into the constellation and then he went into turbo mode. I, I that doesn't work for me. I, I well, you know, he played speed uh, and backgammon don't go together as far as I'm concerned. But he played Dennis Culpepper in the semifinals yesterday, and it went all Z's way early. Um, uh huh. And it was like a snowball rolling downhill. I mean, he just seemed to play faster and faster and and that seemed to just exude confidence and, and he's comfortable with that yeah and despite a, a player with dennis's experience and skill level and so forth i, I think it kind of it kind of got to dennis a little bit and uh well the other thing dennis is deliberate and you know and uh people have a natural tendency to try to you know play with their competition so that would have and to make someone who's more deliberate more uncomfortable, I think. Anyway, so. Well, and that's like even at, at some point in that match, somebody commented, I uh, forget exactly when during the match, but Dennis actually had a little bit uh, le uh, more time left than the Denny. So somebody said, well, look, you know, Dennis is playing his game, you know? And. Uh, yeah. What is the age of Ronald? I, I don't know. I would guess he's mid 60s, maybe 70. I, yeah, I don't, I don't have any idea other than a, a visual guess. I'm 66, and I, it feels like he's a little bit older. Uh, yeah. 69. Yeah, I'm told 69. by Jack Coyne behind us, he's 69. Okay. One of the local clubs. Meanwhile, on the board here, we got a boring holding position. The first guy to roll double six is going to win, so we can delve into all this. The thing that I was amazed about. The winner, well, one of the players in the early rounds when they were, uh, it wasn't early, but it was, uh, they were playing to, for, to determine the undefeated finalist, and one of the players got drunk <laughs> and <laughs> played a 2.5. <laughs> I couldn't you know, do that. Stone if I had XG sober. open while I was playing, you know, it's just amazing. These guys know they're so cold that they can play that good and it it's all about okay so let's see making the same plays as the again bottom. we've got as ray said a bit of a it's just a holding, holding game, game standoff here and uh who blinks first but uh white's ahead in the race because he doesn't have the midpoint so there's an extra 26 pips there for z <laughs> and ron's got to play a six three He's going to have to break sometime, but I don't guess it's... Oh, oh no, this is a Z's roll, 6-3. Yeah. And again, this is, as we can see, he slowed down for a roll with that. Uh, he can be deliberate when he needs to be. 
But yeah, uh, when yeah. it's uh, when he doesn't know the move, which isn't very often, apparently. when it's uh, somewhat obvious or somewhat insignificant in his determination, then Ron should just keep. Then going he plays fast. This. Ron should just keep on going with this and be happy, and he he can have a probably a race double on the next shake. I don't exactly know what it is right now. He's up those forty-two pips. Yeah, back he's, there. he's up. Uh, Fairly well. 40, 16, well. Even as Z goes past him, that makes it that much easier for. Whoa, there's that double six you said. First that's gonna double make six. It, well, that's not going to win, but now that's going to make it pretty even. Let's see what's this going to be. He's down two. He's up two. Run. I'll be down eight. 14. Two, five. Six pips down. White. After Wide six down season. after that. Yeah, that's why. Well, this it, didn't nothing. A, another big set in reply wouldn't even up, but. Uh, and he should just slot the five man. point. But so he's going to eventually be a bear off. So you want to fill up those holes. Those two blots don't induce uh, Z to try to run with one of the backs at this point. Four one to make those two points overrated. again. No, oh, that was nice. Yeah, it not only fills it in the board and makes it a threat now he's kind of wondering about his decision to stay back i would expect Three. him to have i'm pretty sure that he probably made the right play but whenever the race is close if you can break contact you know that's a good thing to do well ron's not going to leave a shot so he's okay. going to that's just not right he's probably play six in and slot the ace point in anticipation of a bear off without a gap in his board. Very good. He's going to stack them, but I, I kind of uh, like Ray's play, although it would have left two blots. But uh, yeah, those only come into play if you get hit, which is kind of a bum idea anyway. So Rubello says he's played Ronald a, a number of times online, and he's a solid player. So, what's his uh, rating, Ryan? I thought I was thinking last time I saw it was about twenty eight hundred, and we know Z's up thirty one, thirty two, right? Well, twenty six now. Now he was up as high as twenty. Well, I'm twenty six now. Okay. You don't look like. <laughs> now this is a double in a pass. Ron's on shake. Ron's on shake. Counting them up. All right. So this is, uh, yeah. There it is. Pass. So uh, Z, Z got an advantage with a set of sixes. And three or four rolls later, Ron gets a set of fives. And... Uh, is able to take the first point of the match. So it's kind of like I said, the guy that rolled the doubles won the Here. holding position. Come on, you guys, let's slot some points. Justin, no, <laughs> Justin Noel Bring is, down in, builders. is in the house. I'm looking for some some funny uh You know, I got shot comments. by Justin. Did you? You got shot by Justin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Many people have been shot by Justin. And he laughed. Yeah. Oh. I'm kind of interested to okay. hear the story behind that nickname. Six five. Well, so you could have had Neil and Steve here, but instead you got me, Bill. Well. You have to make do sometimes, you know. Once in a while, you just got to scrape the bottom of the barrel. That's it. Or one. Uh, I guess six to five is going to be, oh, he's going to hit. I'd see takes out some of the steam out of those builders. But there's obvious well, risk to it. Three six. Three six from okay. the bottom. A lot, of, a lot of shots out there. Yeah. That's and not one of that them. That wasn't one of them, but he makes an anchor, so a distraction worked. Here we go. I'm Box starting to see again. what Z's uh, plan is in this match. But it didn't work so well the first match or first game, despite that. It's fact. working better in this one. 
He's refining it a little bit. The cube's probably coming next shake, even though he doesn't have the five point. And maybe because he doesn't have the five point, it'll be so a What's take. Ryan got here? A double three? Here we go. We're going to think about it. Got to count it. Be a good time for us to do that. 40 minus 11, 21. He's up 19. Not enough to thirteen to send it. I don't know. I it was maybe enough pips. He just doesn't maybe because of the gap. Plus you don't have I to get in he, a hurry. I think the, he's the complexion think he's of spending it now. The you, complexion of this game isn't changing much. You know, the checkers look a little bit different, but the essence of the game is pretty much the same um, right now. So let's see, that's 40, 30. He's 69, 75, 105, 107 for green. And 15, 21, 68, 90, I think he's up 20 pips. 20, 128, 129. Yep. I think it was 20 pips. 20 pips it was. So one apiece. <sighs> All right. Let's have another holding game. Those are really exciting. <laughs> Don't bring any builders down or make any points, you guys. Jeff Hall needs to come in here and show these guys how to play a bad game. Mm -hmm. My God, you know, he played one against me that was massive, and then he Got achieved into timing. I was just impressed that he was able to uh, achieve good timing in, in those. He beat me in his, but he didn't beat Matt, though. Yeah, he got into a similar sort of situation with Matt. But two, three. Oh, good. Another holding position. <laughs> Here's oh, maybe well, Ron we, said, you know, I ought to try that. Double that works so well thing. for you. Maybe I'll try that. So we had a holding position and somebody rolled double sixes and we have a giant favorite now? Okay. That's why you come to a bad cam tournament to play a lot of holding positions. This is interesting. He steps up, but staying back, he can't threaten those spaces that the builders are going to come down to. But this shouldn't scare Ron. Let's see what we got here. He's up uh, six, five, four, three. He's only, he's only up three pips, it looked like. Just two from the mid. Yeah. Fly shot. Insta board. Yeah. Oh, follows up the boxes with knuckles. <laughs> I guess he'll probably lift that block because he's going to double on the next shake almost any sh any response. So Z would probably like to roll a set of fives of his own. There I'm, we go. I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm smarter than I look, Bill. Well, that's not, that's not <laughs> difficult to believe. <laughs> that was a good shake. I told him what to do, and he did it. I stretch out here, make sure everybody sees my Houston Astros sweatshirt. You know, I've been trying to give this away to Aaron all week, and he won't take it. But he won't? No. I would take it. That's a world champion. Is it signed by Jose Altuve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ian's right. Ron's probably in the five-ish range. He, he's certainly capable of going low, but he'll... Uh, you know, he'll blow up a little bit occasionally. So Well, he, somebody said that he was 2,600 on on Galaxy, and I just got to 2,600 myself, and I'm like 5.6. So I think yeah. Ian is probably right about that. This race is close. Okay. Ron needs to get – they both need to get checkers on their four point. S stop bearing them into the – Six. So we so need a couple. There's, there's the one four. going to the four right there, probably. Yep, that's right. Oh. See, this is wrong. That's wrong. Leaving that. 
Z wouldn't do that. Watch, there goes the four point C immediately. Thank you, Tar. All right. So apparently, Ron didn't read any of those books from the uh, 70s. Tell you where to put the checkers. Oh, man. When they stack checkers in the video, you can't tell what the pip count is. Yeah. Unless you're going to count them. It's pretty he's close. He's got six so. on there. Oh, he's got more than that. Right. Two, four, six, seven on that. Ron's six. Yeah, seven. you're right. It's the problem with those nasty earth boards. No, I'm just kidding. They're, those things are great. You... They sponsor this stuff, don't they? Yeah, we're... Uh, are they sponsoring They it? support the tournament. Now, this is sense. something that Ron does. He makes some mistakes with the checkers, and then he moves back the wrong ones. We're using the Galaxy YouTube channel, and we appreciate that, and they've supplied two boards <laughs> for our streaming tables. So. Oh, ZZ had an opportunity to our, take advantage there, and he rolled a 2-1. Kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, it's worked out well. You don't those. even need to turn it over. You can just put the clock on it anyway. Look yeah. out. Aesthetically. Uh -oh. Z needs to uh, reply or else she gets to turn down a cube. Uh, uh -oh. That's yeah, that was probably his, not going to do it. Not in the top ten mm -hmm. of his replies. Okay, so 2-1 Ron. Now, I, don't know I, if I they was, got I was laughing. Uh, the right spot, I'm sure Mrs. Zizkova is watching, and uh, I was laughing with uh, ZZ after his match with Mochi about that play before the 2-6, and I was asking him about that. I said, I'm not sure. And he says, oh, I was really confident, you know, and about that time his phone's ringing, it's his mother, what in the world were you thinking? <laughs> you know, she's a uh, very competent, open-level player herself. It was kind of a funny moment and an extremely nice lady. So hello, Ava. I don't think we should be telling Actually, everybody that he got a call from his mommy right before the finals, Bill. Oh, that was <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yesterday. Not uh, I know. <laughs> You just told everybody, <laughs> shoot him out for a blunder. I thought maybe the double sixes, he could have thought about making the ace point, but he didn't. He made a solid play. Now he's got to make the ace point. Well, he's thinking about just bringing it down because he's got to leave a blot on the mid point Yes, anyway, ma'am. Right? How are you? Is it? <laughs> I've always called you Ava. Somebody told me today that you actually pronounce it Eva. So uh, I apologize if I've mispronounced it. This is why he was thinking about not making the ace point because he could get hit there anyway. Oh my God, that's uh -oh. pretty sick. There's, There's been too many sixes on these dice. You meant to change those out. That's about the fourth or fifth set of boxes in this match so far, and the game scores only two to one. All right, pretty routine. Again, we're sort of a holding position, especially if Ron rolls a five. Yep, here we go. Holding position four. Game four, holding position four. Yeah. And each one of them has been won by the guy who rolled more doubles, right? Yeah, there's been a lot of double fives sixes and, double and sixes. fives floating around here. I guess he'll slot the four because he didn't want to necessarily give him something to break anchor and hit. If I count it right, it looks like he was 
Zed was up six before that nine. Now he doesn't mind leaving the blot because there's two blots in round spore. And we got the prototypical holding position. Somebody wants to roll the old fours or double fives. Well, the double sixes wouldn't work real well for them right here. No. Uh, thanks, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> That's twice we did that. I said he needed double fives to stay in the other game, and he bang, there they came. Okay, here we go. Now the cheese is starting to become a little more binding. <laughs> I think he could break the midpoint, or he's going to have the same problem next turn. And uh, right now, Z's board isn't perfect with that blot on the five point. So I would, I would clear the midpoint right here. A lot of other people will probably disagree with me. Well, I, I, uh, I tend to agree with you. Although, uh, if Z underperforms on the subsequent roll, um. He may not even have a four and a half point board. Yeah, well, he's got a, it's just a tight situation now. So let's see, the difference in this position of the 16 pips Ron has on the eight point, and then it's, he gets back four. I don't know, it's pretty close. Let's see, I don't think this is, this is going to have to break it next time. He, he didn't leave himself any spares to play. Oh, that's not exactly going to excite Z to hit that. Yeah, it is. Do you He's going to hit it. Absolutely. What are the other options? I mean, I might as well just do it. And then leave that guy there to duplicate five so that it's a very nice roll for Ron. Oh, double fives would be like a pretty good shake if Z plays 18 to 15, right? Enter and hit. Hit in the outfield and cover. That would be sweet. I always like to give that to my opponents during this so they'll have something to... Well, this gives him the double fives double would be like five the sweet twice. joker mm -hmm. and, and covers and makes a five point board. That way, he can't say you didn't give him something. Could pick uh, it up, but then you're going to, you know, I be trying to tiptoe through the outfield, and all he has to do is enter, and he's dangerous. So I think you leave it slotted, especially since there's a blot over there. And we might as well duplicate, huh? Well, let's, uh, he's hoping not to see that roll. We got half of it. Well, I didn't really think Ron was going to fall for that, but he did. <laughs> okay, here's some, now there, this could get bloody, this right here. It already has gotten bloody, I guess. Got to play on, Ryan. I don't five, know. Five three was it? Is it a five? Oh, that is that any good? Let's just hit this one and then cover. All right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> no, no, you're supposed to hit. Yeah, what? What? You can't get gammon from this position. Okay, try and lose trying to win. If he fans once and you get a six, you got something going on, or you roll an eight, you could always lift it up later. It's not appreciably worse to get the fourth one hit. But actually, uh, he plays better than I do, so I would give the nod probably to his play, but um, he's ready to hit any fly shot now and Ron's going to have to clean this up. Yeah, well, it's going to be a drag leaving a shot here, but you're going to destroy your board if you don't. Which, uh, which play are you talking about, uh, Roberto? Not to hit. The one when he could have hit on the on the, on the five, five point, okay. I think. Okay. Roberto didn't like that play. He's apparently either transcribing or certainly inputting some positions. Well, listen, if 
if Z does something and I say something else, you probably want to go with funny. Things. Might want to go with him. Yeah, he's got a seven hundred point higher rating than me on X Galaxy, so and a pretty fancy recent resume as well. Yeah. Uh, his resume and five bucks would get him a cup of coffee right here. His position. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said he needs mom's call. Give, give a, <laughs> call him up. Give a Ava lifeline call here. Boy, I, he was probably glad he didn't roll six three or six four there. You wouldn't mind doing it now. Uh oh. Uh -oh. One. One. Two. Two. It works for the moment. It's all good natured teasing, Ava. <laughs> the, um... Yes, Cafe Cafe is Roberto Lutzenberger. Yeah. Hi, Roberto. Please tell Bill if I make any mistakes. Yeah, we saw that uh, Roberto was visiting Galley in Brazil the other day. I guess uh, Robert, or, uh, yeah, Roberto Litzenberger was uh, in the airport in uh, Rio watching one of the stream matches the other night. I presume he's home now. I'm with the with Z's board crunched. I think it was right to bear a checker off and keep this six point. But look at that. Ron did that because he knew that he was going to roll 6-5 next and leave two blots and got would have got both of them hit. Mm -hmm. So if he would have made my play, he'd have two guys on the roof right now. That's a small sample result, though. That's how you snatch defeat from the jaws of victory by Ray Fogner. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to kind of like you can think something – Play is so clear, and then it can go so bad. You leave now, I guess. Yeah, that's good. And he's got a gauntlet. If he rolls two high ones here, it's going to be ugly. 4-1 or 5-1 or something. All of them. Okay. All right, so this is a case in point. Before, when I said go ahead and hit him, he's still getting gambling. Look at here. Anyway. Look at here. Yeah. Two cents from the bar. Okay. Run, Z, run. But looks like a two pointer. Of course, the uh, yeah. the, the cube, cube is in the turned. cube is in the center, so it doesn't hurt too bad. Ooh, okay. So three, two, Ryan. Just a brief update on stream two. We have the intermediate final. Boris Shafransky is leading Tigran Avenisian seven to five. Yeah, Tigran is in this final of the Intermediate ABT event, and he's also in the final of the Intermediate Jackpot. So he'll be on stream two in back-to-back -back matches. Tigran's pretty good. I played him a few matches. Yeah. And then I talked to him. I said, oh, you're doing pretty good. He says, I'm lucky. I just jumped six primes. I mean, speaking of luck, uh, Z has had plenty of bad luck so far. He rolled it. Fanned on a two-point board there. Almost got gammed, or did get gammed. Like fanned game. on a one-point board in like the second game, didn't he? Yeah, well, yeah. Double, double sixes will do that to you. We've had quite a few of those. AC Doocy. Interesting. Interesting. He could have brought an extra builder and made the two anchors.
But now he will come down and slot freely, <clears throat> bring builders. That'll be his game plan. And they'll fix it up. Okay. Or if you roll sets, they work nice. Got to make the three point here. Otherwise, you're going to have that stack up there later. Stepping up to the five. Play. Stepping up the, to the five. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, that yeah stepping up to the five. But he's down. So he wants this looks he wants prime way. versus prime and points. Okay. Can't be too bad to make both five that's points, a, right? <laughs> right. You got both five points in the cube. Uh -oh. you, you might have one too many things. A lot of backgammon games. All right. Well, I could get into that, but I thought that at the score, it was right to make the points there. And you can concentrate on attacking when he runs or when he stays, you know. Plus, he was going to have to break a point in the outfield to make the inner board points anyway. Well, we're already 300 viewers plus today, so we thank all of y'all for the... And be sure, as Mark uh, Olson says, smash that like button. Okay, okay. here he's making a three point for sure. That's good. He's still holding the prime, the, killing the, making the ace point was a little bit too deep. Nice little roll in reply. Ron, Ron is getting away with. I mean, he leads with his chin, doesn't get hit, and then he anchors right up. Things are breaking his way. Now. Then also slot the four point, but he's got to leave a blot on the midpoint to do that. If you're going to leave a blot, I, I would think maybe put it on the four point. And if he hits it, he's not going to hit it from the bar anyway. So I don't know. He's probably doing the right thing here. I don't want to just volunteer shots arbitrarily, but I kind of like okay. to threaten to make a big board. Brian's going to like, go to the eight and shift to the deuce. Or go to the ace, either one. Ship to the deuce, and then the builder works on the three as yeah, well. Yeah, then you got double coverage. Not much difference between those. Again, we have reached the inevitable holding position. Now make, I would make, make, the, make deuce. the deuce point. Make the deuce. And... Might as well have a big thing in backgammon. Uh, that would be called a, 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 a home board. Now look itself. at this. He rolled double ones, and he's thinking about it because Z has a big thing. Right. A lot of people would have just fired away on this. That's the benefit of size in bad cameras. Five, five six. six. Yeah, he can play as he's see he gets to just play that guy around. Everything's cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Holding position doubles alert. That's perfect. Again, it goes safe, safe and slot. <laughs> but the race is pretty close because Ron's got all those outfield checkers and Z rolled his doubles earlier. So let's see. That's forty, fifty-four. Ron 44, to, uh, 56, so Ron's down about 20. Ron needs eight. to learn the offset play for checkers. Oh, 17. So that it, once he counts them and decides maybe he doesn't want to know this, he'll know which ones to take back. See, that's makes a three, comes to the ten. Oh, so that's uh, seven checkers surrounding the ten point. That's 70 in the outfield and 40 over there. So Z's up 30, my 20, 14, mm -hmm. five. He's up five. So this is going to make it even right now. Four one by Ron. And he's got some, uh, well, Z doesn't have any sixes. Ron's got some awkwardness trying to 
clear those points. So uh, let's see who blinks. No blink there. I come if it were me, I would prefer to have Z's position here. You know, you got to run those guys off, but Ron's got to play off. Be, be very and... careful about leaving any kind of shots, even fly shots. And Z can choose to run when the dice let him. And then when the bear off starts, Ron's got two gaps currently. Second five He's three always... in a row. That now you just got to go to the four. Leaves the indirect. Yeah, well, this might be a double. This would be a little bit of a sexy cube. What's the race after that? It's you know? pretty close. Pretty. He's not even thinking about it, though. But you got a fly shot. I don't know. That would have been interesting. But it must have been wrong because he did that so fast. But it's our job to talk about potential stuff like that over here, Bill. Okay, now this is just going to be a, a dice race here. It's fairly close count. That's 36, and that's 26. So Z's up 10. He's up 1, 2. He's up 2 pips. Z's up 2? Yep. Ron's on shake. Uh, that's pretty that good. Works. One. That fills both holes and gives him a 9 point and... lead, 9 pip lead. Pretty good. That wasn't too shabby right there. Still two pips. Man. These guys are going. These guys oh, are going to the whip down the stretch. Heard a six here. fives just went by, Bill. They they going going to the whip down the home stretch here. Now Ron's going to count it. Let's see. It was two eleven minus six. He, Ron should probably be up four here. Is that right? Ten minus six is four. Five. And Twelve. Eleven. And three. I guess. Seven. It's four, isn't it? I don't, know. I don't know. Something so it's in that ballpark. Okay. Neither neither doing much damage yet with the dice. There's some little damage. There is a little damage. Let's see, so must be down five, Four, and that one. equals the race right there. Seems like they they roll We've large in tandem, and they roll small in tandem. There's a oh, nice that. set of non-playing doubles. And the good news is it's 16 <laughs> pips. The bad news is no checkers off. Oh, that's not a very good response. So seven that. checkers to nine checkers, but he's way behind in the count. These are always hard for me to figure out, but I, this might be a double. But when you're leading, you got to be a little bit more careful. So what the heck is going on? It's one, two, four rolls versus six, seven, eight, nine, five rolls. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was a cube. Now he needs to pick something up here. Count. See, he falls a little further behind. Pretty sure he's supposed I think to this send a drop. It. Yeah. He's supposed to send it for sure, I think. But it's a, it's a four roll versus a three roll, but uh, it's almost certainly four versus four. And the pip count is what? Huge difference here. 12. Yeah, he's, he's dropping. 19. He's dropping this. Nice. Yeah. All right. Five one. Have he dropped? Ron. Well, you know, he probably had a double last time. I don't know. Somebody can check that on the computer. Roy's in his WWF announcement mode in there. Yeah, he is. Okay, five one. Wow, Martin Howe is transcribing and to date ZZ's playing one seven six and Ron's playing one eight six. Well Ron's had easier numbers to play, but one more. Oh. Yeah. Dennis Culpepper jumping in here with us. 
Dennis had a pretty good run this week. Won the 5K jackpot and got to the semifinals of the semis main. the main, yeah. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah, I've had a had a good run. They just put it up so far after five or six, five games, I guess it is. Z's playing 176 and Ron's playing 186. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Pretty awesome. Z's the only one that's had any decisions, like Ron hitting two guys and making a point. And rolling a lot of perfect numbers so far. It'll change up. All right. You hit that one, you hit, and you start the next one. I believe that he was supposed to just go ahead and hit off the five point there. No reason to be worried about it. You got an anchor. So he's got to make a, make the four point rather than button up any of that stuff over on the other side. No, no he's, he's got to make the up. anchor. Yeah. And he can do whatever he wants. There's Miroslav back in the house today. Yeah, I'm not sure about the ace. It seems like your big advantage here is your race, and you're not really going to hurt him unless he fans it, playing six to five and lose your last build over there. Not sure, Ray. That was a tough call. I don't know. It's just thematic. You got one, but you don't want the other guy to have a five point. That's an equal he's, game, right? He, he's going to make it most of the time anyway. Do you want another guy back when he makes it? That's yeah. Thing. Okay. He's <laughs> going to have my guy back. Oh, it's okay. going to be on the five point. <laughs> they can get that. Yeah, they can that's get all... ahead in the race. <laughs> but they're not getting a free five point. He's those aren't on free. sale okay. today. Well, it, it looks really good for sure when you get those, uh, what, 10% fans, right? Yeah, well, you know, and plus it's the best play against 2 6 from the bar. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's worth a lot considering who you are. A key yeah. thing here. Yeah. You know what's interesting here to me a little bit? I mean, yesterday, Z played great. He had all the dice and just. Steam, I never heard steam, what I played. Steamrolled you. I didn't see it either. I didn't hear it. But I uh, saw it. I did see it. But you, I, you had the front row right. seat. Huh? <laughs> but, you know, here today, and uh, he's playing great, but. He doesn't have all the dice. He finds himself down five to one. So it's a little bit of a different Rever flavor match. Reversal, you know? yep. yep. And well, Dennis, they said that Z was playing fast, and it, some people seem to think maybe that put you off your game a little bit. How did you uh, – you're usually pretty solid. Um, did that affect you? I don't think so. I mean, okay. Well, you know, it seemed either. like I had a, a lot of pretty easy plays, and – a lot of those were from the bar, so that... that yeah, <laughs> those can be real easy. <laughs> Somebody had noted, I don't know, maybe a third of the way into that match, halfway into that match or something. You know, and, and Zdenek typically plays very fast, but like a third of the way or halfway into that match, you had more time left than he did. And people were saying, well, Dennis is playing super fast too. Maybe he's playing into Z's game, you know? I don't know. Anyway, Z had an interesting double fours there, and he made two points in his board because the, the five and seven points don't work too well as a holding position. You end up giving one of those up. So I like this play there, and now he can go to work and make the five point while he's waiting for his shot, right? Seems right. It gives him a, saves him a playable six, right? You don't want to go uh -huh. with your next six to the deuce point. So yeah. you, you lay okay. back and slot the hole up there. There we go. Like that. This looks like it's going to be a thing where he runs out of time and has to go from the five anchor, but he's hoping to get the shot first, of course. He could make the ace point here if he wanted to. He could also make the bar point, bar point. but bar, that's, well, that's going to be true. a place that he's going to leave a shot later, so he's got some yeah, think, think about it's that. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth it now. you got three checkers to play with, stay flexible. This In three rolls, a lot of this will be cra crashing over yeah. here or close to it. Ron and apparently agrees. So let's see if we get a, a fly shot alert. Nope. All right. Ooh, that's Ooh. interesting. He's reaching for that. Break wow. it early. Mm. Now he's going to guarantee that his board stays intact when he threatens that shot out there and all those stripped points. Well, he's that's weak. a pretty cool play. I think actually. it's a good play. Yeah. I don't think very many people would do that, but I like it. It's a timing consideration. He's going to crash if he doesn't do that. Now what? Does he get pick and pass? 
Yeah, a lot of times you choose Sorry. not to uh, do that and place checkers in, no, and then you can't move them later. So no, that was an interesting that does choice. Still leave this guy vulnerable back here, mm -hmm. but he dances. Uh, this is kind of an interesting time to. How can he not double this? Yeah, I'm because he's Ryan, not so far Ryan's ahead. Got it. He's got a, this one. It looks like he's got a double. It's not too good. Oh, I suppose. I don't know. It might be too good. It's not likely. But, uh, what um, bad can happen? What bad can happen? On the next one. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't seem like, um, unless he comes in with double fives or twos, that he would have a take. So You just send it. Make My inclination is to roll on here for yeah, a sure. roll. That's, Make that's hay me. while the sun is shining. Just do this. I mean, there's not many things. Roberto says the pick, the pick and pass was, was a blunder, or something, according right? to XG. But uh, well, maybe he just Ron knew he says, was going to cash. I got cash. a point with it. <laughs> maybe he just knew he was going to cash. And just... Well, he, wasn't, he didn't know he was going to cash. He didn't know he wasn't going to get hit. But uh, So it was just not the greatest play, but it worked. It seems like it. Thanks, Roberto, for running those positions for us, brother. So the crowd was kind of mixed here on uh, doubling or cashing. We had a few people, uh, I mean, cashing or, or Play on. I was in the play on group by a little bit. I'm not sure how much it was, but well, let's we'll see what Roberto has. Roberto, if you it. have a chance on that last double, uh, plug it in for us. We're oh, here we go. Gary down yeah, six to one. This looks pretty good. No, it seemed seemed close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's his go. here's his opportunity. Make some hay because he's all stacked up. I don't like these kind of positions. Then you. Leave one blot, and then you leave another one, and then... 13-9, and the big slid one. in the back. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. No. I don't know. Not the Maybe big I was overplaying it. That was my Three, thinking two, to get, get off the, that point back there. He got an anchor, so he avoids the immediate disaster. Mm. I don't know. He could have thought about that. There you go. Yep. Make uh, If Ron rolls a six... How many of them would he come out and hit with? Almost none. Six think, two, so. six six, six five. Yeah, six two. Yeah, six six and six five. Six one he would. Six five. Six three he would. So most of his sixes even actually. Anyway, but you want your five point there. Yep. And here's that. There's this the next block. Two six, two, six. from the bar. And step out. There we go. And there's going to be a series of those. Why I didn't like taking this cue. This one only is not a shot because it's a five and it goes in play. And he's not going to hit lose. It's 13 8. Yeah, no sense of exposing yeah. another block. You need a builder on the eight to the continuation after Black does whatever he wants. Unfortunately, to though, it doesn't, you know, now Z is going to roll a four and he could make the bar and leave that slotted, but this is small, perfectly yeah. solid. Small no play on the previous Small game. no play? 989. Uh, well, it was very close. What's a no play? <laughs> Is that a don't type of on, yogurt? Don't play on. Oh, cash, cash, cash. But it was like putting hairs there, and a roll I could prove different. Could swing it, or it might prove it correct. Correct the more, but it's but not going to be much. But most of the time, it's not going to matter. <laughs> yeah. Don't waste a lot of time on that one because it doesn't matter. Well, what what does matter though is if a guy takes it. <laughs> Then uh, you can gain quite a bit on those kind of things, if you. But that wasn't something that he was going to snap up anyway. But, but when you take one that's too good, that's pretty bad. And mm -hmm. I would know. But that's a good point. If <laughs> if it's like very close, you never know when somebody's going to just take send one of those. it right. You know, you're sitting so, there. Hmm, am I too good? Am I? Uh, right, oh, right. Finally, I'll double, and then Rory says, and then the guy takes it. You know. Or Phil said, I think Phil said that. He's the Wow, I would uh, like to all. make the five kind of heavy if I had my choice. He's going to make my play kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty uh, prescient there, uh, Dennis. Yeah, uh, I, I spotted that quick for best play. <laughs> I was the first one to get it right, actually. Yeah. Jerry Tansy is in the house. Welcome, Jerry. Is he any good? You know, Occasionally, he can put together a pretty good game. Two out. 
I'd take two out there. I don't know about that. I would. But, well, you had to come close with a look one. at it. Two I mean. down or two across. I yeah, mean, two, two out. You could get him back there. Threes, five. They could roll nickels and block you. This is kind of a trap his play force, deal. His, that because his, that was actually a great double threes. His forces the are point. his forces are duped to come out. He's got the blot in the back. Even if he covers you, you got him splitting his 13 well, point. Well, well he's, he's sitting back there, and those guys are going to come down it's, anyway. What if he misses this guy runs out? I like this play. He's going to slot the bar next yet? time. No? Yeah. I would bet on that play. You want to bet on a ring? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll bet okay. on a play that Z's made. <laughs> I would have to go against him on that one. I'm probably I'm probably wrong. Let the, oh, wait, oh, wait. Let the record Mommage. reflect. Look what he did with those builders, uh -huh. Dennis. Yeah. Primage. That uh -huh. play that we bet on. Uh huh. But I wouldn't be cracking with double threes or, or one. Yeah. <laughs> or two or two, two. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not toast yet, Ray. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what kind of peanut butter do you like on your toast, Dennis? <laughs> oh, smooth. That that's uh. Smooth. What did Kit think about that? That's uh. Double aces. This, this All right. So that's well. that, that's so interesting. I've really, that answer, that play there, six four six. If uh, Roberto can I, is there plug any, that in, is there any I, uh, reason to break the bar point there and make them play sixes from the midpoint? I don't know. And th that's kind of a common trap play theme, but this isn't a common trap play position. Six four. You can run with that. Okay. Uh oh, aces again! Boom. Uh -oh. Okay, you got those three right. All right. <laughs> but now I'm the guy that was primed out, and they they hated my play when I was primed now Look right. Hey, look out! It. Look out! Doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't it always like that when oh, they roll the one man. that picks and passes and covers, and you flunk, and the auto six comes? You got to give them the three six as well. Now you're staring down the barrel of a double Maybe barrel not. shotgun. Oh, this and is you're pretty interesting. Life. You leave this one to dupe the three, and then no, you know, I don't think this doesn't like, feel right. Like That'd be that. my third play, but um, could be right. Three, four, three. Oh, he's gonna be. We're, oh, he's got his you know, safety. You don't worry about the guy's good numbers. There's a question. You give him three, two, or three, three. There, one that takes away the joker fly shot from the two numbers in the bar. They belong. Uh oh, yikes. So there's uh -oh. five and six. Five. Yeah, that's where we're Heavy, heavy five and yeah. six. All right, there some was. Some of us would be hitting with the six. Yeah, yep. With a... Not well, on double fives. On double fives, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, we still got a little life here. All he right. needs to spring with a six and attack if it would be uh, his top it rolls. Starts with a three, two. Uh, nothing there. Or a three and. That's a, wow. That's a zero roll there. Five to four, five to two. Yep, five to four. Wherever it goes, one, five to one. Five to one, five, five to four. Yeah, keep yeah. the six. And then makes aces and three one both yeah. point on them. Yeah, plus it saves you a, a couple fives. That's going to make okay. five. Okay. Well, why is he staying? Why is he leaving? Mm -hmm. Stick around. Not sure on that. Make the point behind. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now we got a welcoming committee out there. Oh, <laughs> oh, squeezed off. Please. Uh, All right. This is the way to the red carpet, sir. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. It, that board wow. is a little too big for that play. That's juicy. Maybe six mm. five and come in and then force 11, him to throw 12, a six. 13 shots. It's just a little three blocks. He's behind if he just plays it safe. Yeah, though. but this is 11 numbers versus 13. He's only behind if the is, guy gets a six. More numbers than his three bots against a four-point yeah. board. And you're leading the race. My guess is this is Is he correct. leading the race? Is no, this... no, I mean the score. Leading the score. The score, okay. But what, we ought to have the race. If he plays yeah. into the four-point, that's 30 on the an, outside. No, this is an option I, I didn't <laughs> see. 11 well, to 15. Is, well, this is the only way to hit. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen hits. Uh you, you win some cameras yeah, also. Yeah, no no doubt. I don't think that's it. Now it's thirty twenty two, so I don't know. I don't know. Down Tara. eight. Tara. Up five. 
Down 13, two. He's down seven pips, but Ron only Ron doesn't necessarily win if he gets a six, but if he gets hit, yeah. if he hits a checker, then he of thirteen has won. Dimitri likes clearing the eight. I like the, Dimitri's game. Dimitri's he, good clearing the eight and leaving this blot. That's what. That's well, that's what, he what likes. it would require. Right? Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know. I would play it in. So who's got? But Dimitri got his computer turned 15 on. 15-4 is a one fifty four blunder. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Huge blunder. So what was the and blunder? It was, 154 to me. Oh, 154? Yeah. yeah. Wow, versus attacking. Wow. Yeah. The thing is, the guy's got two open books. If you get hit, mm -hmm. all you have to do is come Hello, in Felix Goitman. Welcome back. Six, the other way, right. you're in deep shit. Yeah, you're a dog for Plus, like you said, uh, you do pick up well, that was some, that uh, other blot out there and the variation. Well, that was some yeah. volatility there. Okay. Trying to go fishing. Mm. Well, finally, things broke Z's way, so we'll hit see if he can manufacture a gammon out of this. He doesn't mind fanning at all. That's interesting. That was a big blunder, huh? Yeah, big blunder. All right. David's going to have to put that one on her notepad to talk to Z about. Well, Ron shouldn't leave any blots because he, he's, he's got to do that. And Z will wait until I... Mm, no, I think it, I'd like to close him out. Yeah, yeah no choice, would. sir. You'd like yeah, to close good, him out with this? Good play, break. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, he wanted to wait, but he I couldn't. <laughs> I like those double threes. I found the best play first. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> Already, there's a chink in his armor. All right, fix that. I like to bear four off here. And every likelihood, this is just going to be a two-pointer. Stranger things have happened, but uh, it looks like it. Not now. The reasonable, normal occurrence. Well, Z got his money's worth because he's sent over the queue. Good deal. But Ron took that one, and some people might have let that go. I don't know if anybody ran that. I never saw a comment on that. If, queue, it, though, was, if it was a take or a pass. You know, while we, we, we're going to have a moment or two here, I want to hit the uh, upcoming tournaments calendar. In three weeks, we have the California State Championships in Los Angeles. Candace Maron's uh, tournament out there. Patrick Gibson and Frank Talbot directing at the LAX Hilton's last tournament of the ABT season. Then first week in January, we have uh, the New York Metro. Lynn Ehrlich's tournament it's in Jersey City, New Jersey on the Hyatt on the Hudson. The Hyatt Regency on the Hudson River sticking out with beautiful views of Manhattan. Usually a very... Large and strong field with the number of Europeans making the short hop across to New York. And occasionally uh, a plane lands on the Hudson. And occasionally a plane lands during the tournament on the Hudson. Now we, <laughs> then in February, we have uh, the Texas Backgammon Championships in San Antonio, which Tar and I run. We'll have the UBC USA Championship included within that. And we have four, four streams. Uh, we have 11,000 square feet of ballroom space, so... Is there going to be room for everyone? Is there going to be any good streaming in San Antonio? Oh yeah, and we'll have uh, the inimitable Nick Blazer as a dedicated uh, commentator during the tournament, and Jasper Carlson, the, oh, the the best staff guy in the world. In fact, he's a great director too, for that matter. And then Jeff Proctor from Atlanta, and then three weeks after that is Jeff's tournament in Atlanta, the Atlanta Spring Classic. Grew a lot last year. I expect it to grow more this year. And Tar and I will be there 
uh, doing this sort of streaming from Atlanta as well. So that's the upcoming tournaments. Shh, and Bill, uh, there's a prime versus prime game. Ron is uh, off to a good start here, but he gets hit with a 6 4. And he met Spanky. All right. This is going to be a good game. This is not like a holding position. Finally. It's kind of risky. It's. Is it too risky to come in on the five and split your Yeah, five Jerry Tanzi no. was only 13 years ago that the play Otherwise, you got to do this. And yeah, then you skip prime. Yeah, it seems like. Um, and you're going to be stuck back to yeah, those three, three guys, guys. Three guys stuck back, uh, I think. And now he's going to come up when oh, it's but more he's dangerous. created a five prime over there. He, he, he can split into this now with some uh, yeah, authority. He can he'll be able to watch that crack. Oh, he might be able to get out here. Yeah. It worked he out needs well. to get one of those out and move the it. Ace, four, or six. That's, uh oh. One um, too many. What kind of peanut right. butter do so you like? Eight, Bill? Eight, eight, six, and make the 23 point. 23 point. point. Eight, six. You got to maintain some flexibility back there. Eight, All right. Now, six. this might be a are you, double. Are you Hold sure, on. Are you he, sure he's not Ron, even thinking about cubing. Ron can't hear Dennis here, or what? <laughs> he wasn't even thinking. He didn't even consider a cubing. So would he, he come he in can. and up? Okay. Okay. <laughs> he can't. No. <laughs> All right. He came up. Now Ron's going to... Uh-oh. What is it? Four what? Four four, I think, isn't it? No, no it must four. be six four. Six four. Okay. Yeah. Seems right. Two six from the bar. Boy, this is a lot of hits, but he's got to roll. You wouldn't even throw back at three five, would you? No. That wouldn't suck. That was it was kind of hard to miss there. Oh, oh nice shake there. Yeah, he Aaron reads. He makes the deuce. He makes the twenty. No, he's gonna hit loose. I believe he was supposed to come up to the five point with a couple of those. That's what I thought. Make the twenty. Oh, well, he figures he's gonna do it later, huh? He's got he's got he's got two gaps. Oh, 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 wait. Uh, Bill, what was that number? I believe that was a two six from the bar. Oh, oh, oh what's this here? Yeah, but it's not oh, nearly no. the same than two six from the bar coming from behind a five prime to a blot on the eight. Jeez, oh many, my god, how many well, times have yeah. we seen uh, Ron made a luck box on that? Ron might have made a good play with that double threes. I some people really like that. I thought you got to really consider coming up, but. I, I'm with you, Ray. I, I liked uh, up a little bit, but I didn't have time to to really look at it. But it seemed like it was part of my play. Now, That's a great roll. Now Zdenek learned the the lesson yesterday not to leave the two six. You know? Now Ron took this awful fast, but I I would have gave a, that a little bit more thought. But so you're coming down to twenty. Play um. Uh, play up to the eight or nine point. <laughs> Passeroni is that made by Chef Boyardee? Yeah. Oh, he's got to threaten, <laughs> threaten to make the 20 point there. Uh, would have been me. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. It's going to be target practice over there, but that's, uh, it seems like where you got to go. You don't have to like it. You just got to get up there. And now yeah. he'll have to do it now when there's more builders. There's more, so there's more dangerous. Martin, yeah. Martin Howe, who is transcribing, said that was a big pass and didn't give us big any pass. Didn't okay. give us didn't give us any numbers, but big pass, yeah. which most of us would have anticipated. It's like he's got to give him a nine shot here. That's a city in California. Anticipated? Pasadena. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> El Paso, <laughs> Texas. Yeah, they got one of those down there. Oh, come on. Leave the fly shot. Give nine. them something. Six, three, five, four. It's too big to hit them. You can't hit them. And it's too small to play to the uh, three point. So you can go to the ace, but uh, is it, why is it, it so, he's fine. not, he's supposed to duck the well, nine what shot? what happens if he jumps out with a four, five, four, five. And, and he's going to get a shot. Over there, the guy's back trying to get over an eight. Okay. Well, That's, you know, you I, can get a, two sixes like the most common shake, so that prime is the weakest. It could be right. Primes. I would just, I would just get closer, but it could be there wrong. Go. Oh. Yeah, I think I would get fade the nine shot, but I'm over here commentating, and those guys are playing in the finals. It's four, it's four hey, numbers. Tar, 
Is this, like is what you don't in? see, Ray, is how many times you get hit in the next variation when it steps out. Actually, you know? we're at 45 percent. Yeah. On second thought, thought, I believe I would just slot the ace. That that checker's doing nothing okay. on the four point, and uh, you can avoid the nasty nines. A take was a minus 275. Oh, Ask him about okay. this four three play he just had before this one. They're asking about the four three play here, Martin, right before this. There's a nine. Now he can make go to the ace. All right. 275. Okay, so listen here. Now, this is this okay. is significant, you guys. If that was a 279 pass, then Z knows it. And uh, Ron doesn't necessarily know it. So now, but because he took it, right? Ron took it. Z knows it because he's the second best player in the world or whatever. And... Um, He's gathered some information from, from that, it, yeah. and then he'll he'll be able to make some intelligent adjustments. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron gets the crux of the position immediately, as yeah, usual. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make the four, five three point was played. Okay, oh, that okay. Leaving yeah. the four shots was right. I don't know about yeah. how much, but that's yeah. good. Thank played you. Played okay. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't think about but, but after I looked at it for a while, I thought, why? I'll just go to the ace, uh, ace oh, point with that three, do? which you didn't have a very good Burr. thing to do Clear with that the six. Check I don't have anyway. to worry about it next time. Mm, probably slot the ace. Slot the ace. Slot yeah, the ace absolutely. Right. And then if you get hit, I mean, if you leaves a shot and you get hit it, everything wow. covers the, almost. The problem with this play is you you save a, you kill your fives, but you or crack your position too. Mm -hmm. If you if you left them back slide the ace, then you can play fives and fours. Once you once you point that ace, out, they usually save. roll double fours or five four. In these kind of positions. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Three, that's five. that's kind of one of those plays that goes against the rules, and it's hard to find those. Okay, so he's out of dodge with one of them. Makes the ace point. Oh, that's that's sweet. That's sweet. Hara, right. get the cork. <laughs> get the cork. Yeah. So stuff down his <laughs> mouth, <or what>? <laughs> <laughs> and install it on Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is one off and three to one. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't see let's you clear, clear the clear. Clear. Probably, probably clear. I didn't see it. I was listening to them cork, taking the cork loose or something. And I, <laughs> I, I, I popped the cork. I missed the play. Well, he did said, take off. Aaron said, cork you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is his shot forthcoming. If he gets one, this is likely to be it. And it is. Or three. How many off does okay. he have? Uh, two six from the bar, and Ron will feel What's a lot better about one? himself. At most four, I can't tell for oh. sure. But... <laughs> okay. I think four <clears> looks is like it. a two pointer here. <clears throat> that was very winnable with the two. two, two yeah, two, it was. One. Is Aaron still Ray's roomie? No. Uh, Howard. Howard. Howard is Ray's roomie. That's the. Shorter version of Aaron. A shorter version <laughs> of Aaron. <laughs> okay. Although Aaron is maybe. six five here. Uh, great. How are we doing time wise? Okay. Ron has sixteen, so he's got, got about half his time. Z has about three quarters of his time. It's, which is uh, so early on these guys were playing great then z in that game he made a blunder but he benefited from it and then later on or was that the game before and, and then, then he saw this bad take and um, you know you don't get a three thousand rating if you take stuff like that so uh z's got to be feeling tara 406 good about himself in this situation he knows what He's dealing with that. We're over 400 viewers. This is tremendous. So uh, be sure and call all your friends and neighbors and family, and let's run that number on up. And Fee, five, four. Oh, is this right? 
and smash. Oh, that he's like hitting. Yeah, okay, I like that. You got to If you're gonna step up, you. Mark you open, split smash the like hit. button on uh, Galaxy. Uh, on the Galaxy YouTube channel here. Well, we got this thing here. Can we do the like button? Because I like listening to me. Do you go home and watch the videos? <laughs> Ray's, Ray's his best fan. Oh, it's number one fan, somebody said. Only, did that mean only one or number one? I, I didn't know what he meant. <laughs> but yeah, hit that, uh, uh, smash that button. Get a lot of viewers and sh show your support for the streaming. Definitely. Jump on in here. A6. One six from the bar. Oh, yeah, Ron's playing. Playing the hell out of it. Here. Uh oh, that's not. That was not his best shake, but he'll take it. Z has got a little bit of a breather, hmm. but he rolled another four. That's not too good. Mm. Yeah, I I think it's. Um, it was. That was that a little and the three. Wow, that's a big roll. Hip wise and otherwise. I'm no. Oh, that was a great oh, shot. Wow. Put that cube back in your pocket. Put it back in the pocket for a minute here. It's four guys back. He's not cubing. Zabo has joined us wow. again. He's been here every day this week. Hello, Attila. <laughs> uh, that's got to be a great backgammon name. Okay, Zick has got You're back to You're playing Attila. He's got back to the original position, and you move one guy from the 13 to 7. Zick. Okay. I would send over this. This is so ugly. Yeah, and so would, would, so would XG, I think. I, you I get these this. kind of positions, and it slaps the hell out of you if you don't send the cube because you got everything. You're heading the the board. He's got an anchor, but everything else about his game is pretty bad shape. Yeah, and the only thing that plays safe is a five, and that's there. It, there it comes. Oh, he snatches it up. Ron's seen this one on Galaxy. Wow. XG I'd play. I'd like to hear the answer to that. that uh, well, I bet it's a take because he took it so fast. But, I mean, you know, it doesn't mean you're not supposed to send Martin it. Howe says it was a borderline. He had kid all the time. That his son was yeah, he had the time to figure it out. Borderline cube. Big take. Big, Big take. take. Zika was right. See, wow. I told you size was important in back in. <laughs> you gotta have to quit doing it, Ray. We're gonna have to put a damn -rated. PG rating on yeah, our yeah, screen yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> that was a big take. <laughs> what was that? Now look at let's see what kind of reward Z gets for taking that big take. This is not looking very no good. Reward. Ron is liking this position. He's going, yeah, that was a juicy take. What's the right five? Five down. Five down? Yep, it's another builder. The massive builders play. Both another. ZZ wants some aces. Not for that number. You know, hey, what I could do. Go to the 10 and give him the double nickels. Probably give him double nickels. Give him the double nickels. Just set it up there. Yeah, then he'll have something to write home. Yep. There's two in. Okay, now it's a, a tax city. Everything but an ace points. Everything but an ace. There it is. Boom. It's not an ace of points. And then ace, ace points. Bill, I can... Take a siesta if you want to get Aaron in here. <laughs> oh, bummer. Look at this. You know, I, I can't get any words for ZZ in this. I think uh, ZZ is about to get the idea that he's he's in for a match here. This was a big take, though. Yeah. It's not I, I'm not faulting him. I'm just saying. No, no. That. But, I mean, but, uh, you know, this is what you get for your big takes. Mm, I, I don't sometimes. like this. Could be right. You'll be right. I'm not sure. I'll be inclined. Well, he's got such. He could. He's got the five anchors, so he doesn't get care if he gets hit. He mm -hmm. just didn't want him to make well, that. Could, it could be right. Could be right. I would just. Go the, ahead these and make are it. free lessons, Eddie Ballgame. So, uh, entertainment and lessons all in one. And entertainment. I think that uh, Z would just assume 
fan for a couple of more turns. Not that big increase in getting gammon, but it would I, I help agree. his timing out yeah. quite a bit. All right. That's not so good. Oh, I would guess he's about what? Even money? Get gammon? Maybe a little worse with four bank? Uh, Probably a little worse, maybe. You know? I think he's, but he's going to move these guys around as he's getting in. So right, he'll be essentially right. four back most of the time when he gets these guys he's in. He's, he's favored to get gammon. Yeah, though. I'm just saying what was likelihood of getting gammon from here? Is he over even money or 50% or less? Or 50 yeah, because there's sometimes when he's going to get another shot. I guess it'd be right close to 50 50. Right, cause if he, he was guaranteed to only have the four guys back. But I don't know. I mean, I haven't run that. Ian says three is usually even money. I don't know. Three? Uh, I think three is more like 40. 40, 40 to 45. Well, if three is, is, is even money, then four is big favorite to get gammon. Yeah. And that could be right. If Ian is right, then uh, four don't is Don't mention that, Olsen. We, they haven't visited us today. What's the play here, kid? Just bring two in. I don't. I don't think I would have let him out with that, but would have held on to that. Now he's gonna maybe be playing with three back, and it might. No, no, no. Slot, 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 uh, slot your five. Down. Slot your five and bring your five down. I think this is right. Make that. And he can slot the five next time, or run with the six, according uh -huh. to what the dice tell him. And he would be. He really enjoy hitting a fly shot here. Little six three action cuts down on a lot of the gammons. Breaking seven was minus one hundred. Okay. What do you four, have? Four what do you, off. What do you have left? Two. Two. Four off. Um. Two off, six to six four. To four. Two, two off, off, six, six to, four. to four. Now it's the two off. How bad is uh, five to three? It's a little worse. Okay. Not that... much, just a little bit. Okay. One of them's Immediately, off, and, off and running. At the last second, he gets off that. Three, three deuce. Two. It's a little tougher. It might be right to clear the six here. Could be, or he can take him on off. How how uh, aggressive should Ron be to try and win a game in here? He could take that one off and hold the guys in by holding the five prime. Gammons would go that up, but he would like the way be more shot off, equity. But I, I, I would probably uh -oh. clear to six points. I'm not sure. I'm a greedy guy. I want the I want the G. You want the G Z. Just speaking generally. <laughs> okay, look at that. So Z's had a little trouble getting his guys out of there. That's so a pretty Ron's good role. Gam and pretty good role. Prospects are looking a little better. There's a few shots, but the board the board is broken, so they're not as dangerous as they were before the last roll. Uh oh. Six four. Hey, it would appear. What are they doing? Somebody says Tigre, Tigre won the intermediate Tigran. Yeah. They're still they're critiquing some play here. It was DMP. But uh All right. Oh, Whoa, oh my looky great. here, what a looky super joker. here. That's going to save Most of half a point at least. Most of the time. What a shake. Wow. Looky here. Without that, it was a big, it had been a real big dog to save the gammon, but. Probably. Uh, oh, know. now he's giving himself numbers in case he rolls a, I think it's a right. set. Yeah, I think it's Okay. Right. No, now more numbers are going to come off. Okay, 
But of course, you waste three pips. Don't yeah, that? but if you get it close enough on a two-one, you're still such a favorite to get off. Of. Yeah. There Look at go. here. Oh, he okay. beat it. Wow. All nice right. Nice play. Nice, nice save. That was that's okay. The kind in the of intermediate have. championship, ABT intermediate championship, Tigran Avenician beat Boris Shafransky eleven to nine. So congratulations to both. Tigran won the intermediate championship and now will be playing in the intermediate jackpot oh, final. Taking a little break so he's here. in both. And next tournament, he'll be in the open division. <laughs> Welcome to the open division. <laughs> okay, they're taking a little little break here, a little short break. Dennis adjourned himself. So uh, what do you think so far, Ray? Well, I think that, uh, well, you know, we the luck's kind of gone Ron's way, um, but... See, he's going to be, he's right in there, and um, it doesn't always stay. That's, you know, if one guy outrolls the other one the whole way, he usually just wins. You know, it's the luckiest guy wins. But um, if it breaks even, then we'll, Zeke can come back a little bit. What's the score now, 8 to 5? Yeah, I think so. And uh, Z had some good luck in that game, even though he got destroyed. It was a big take. Uh, everything went Ron's way, and he was a big favorite to get Gammon, but he rolled double sixes and double fours to save the Gammon. And um, you need that kind of luck. If you don't, you know, if you get Gammon, now it's 10 to 5, and uh, you're really fighting an uphill battle. You can, uh, we he's know got some room to maneuver now, and he can, you know, bend his knees and be ready to uh, go whatever way the dice go. There and, it is. Uh, up to date, two two eight for ZZ four oh one for Ron. So uh, that's still well, some really well good back. I mean, well yeah, played. really good back, Um, and uh, so they both made a couple of blunders. So you know, they got. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting in this championship division. Other than the match with Mochi, um, ZZ's had a pretty pretty easy run of it by virtue not only of his play but by virtue of the dice and everything else he's just had a pretty easy run of it he had he was down 12 3 to mochi and and rallied to win but um uh, you know he finds himself in a little bit of a unfamiliar territory here for the week at least so uh we shall see but uh you know he did play mochi and um there was apparently a 12 point swing in that and he came back from 13 to 4 against the uh best the human race can produce huh? yeah put against you so he can handle it he can handle it being behind and um and he's playing extremely well i mean two something two two eight okay so uh um he just needs to get a little bit of a you know break with the dice and uh and he did in that last game i mean that was a small double and a giant take, but and he got in horrible trouble because things just broke Ron's way, but he rolled double sixes and double fours to save the game, and those two points will make a difference in this match. Eight to five. But if it was ten to five, you know, you're running out of time. <laughs> well, know? that's the thing. It's eight five, and I hadn't looked at the clock lately, but Ron's used roughly half his time. Well, and, uh, you can't imagine that Z's going to use up very much. Yeah, he he's, just plays he's fast. still got 21, 22 minutes. So. But I think that uh, uh, my take on that is that both of them should slow down. Because <laughs> uh, uh, there was that one take that Ron did. It was a, a point two something, right? And he took it fast. Yeah, it was 274. So if he would have thought about that for a minute, maybe he would have thought, hmm, maybe this isn't that big of a bargain, you know? And uh, he's playing a four, including that. If he hadn't done that, he'd be in the twos or threes himself, you know? So, okay. Uh, so the gladiators have returned to the arena. All right. As it were. We've got the lines downstairs to uh, feed on the loser. Oh, here. yeah. Oh, man. Yep, we got Lola, uh, Lynn's dog, is going to have its way with the loser. 
All right. Okay, and uh, six one, nice shake. As we can see, Z's got twenty two forty eight, and Ron is fourteen twenty nine. So, uh, so Z's playing in the twos, and he's only used up eight minutes of his clock. Seven there, twelve, haven't? actually. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Ron is steadily rolling a little better numbers. Here's a set of threes for him. So he's going to be ahead in another game. Should he hit or just make uh, two points? I think he'd make three and five and look pretty strong. Yeah, he could do that or he could make... When he's ahead, he should be looking towards anchors. And so I would think if he was going to make two points, it'd be the 21 and the 10. But... Maybe it's just way better to hit and gain 24 pips, uh, 27 pips after the, all, all the threes have been played. He okay, chose to, so he kind of splits the baby a bit here. He as sure it were. did. I think that's the right idea. If you're up, you want to be having holding so, positions more than prime versus prime. So what do we do here? Slot the five and make the three. Oh, Who's this guy? Wow. I don't know. Uh, that's aces and deuces hit. But Ron's not in a rush to hit. He would just like to bring down builders and make a thing. And he's that's what he's going to get to do. He's going to yeah. hit, bring the five down, and then he'll just concentrate on, he'll sit on his an comfy anchor and uh, try to fill in the four and five points. And ZZ's going to have to do this kind of stuff. He's duplicating aces. Has to give a three. Ron's more interested in making points. Is that double fives or five four? Five four. Okay. <clears throat> and Ron could actually hit loose as a diversionary, I mean, a diversionary thing. And then that would make it tougher for Z to uh, make his anchor or lift his blot out there, but or five. He he's, he chooses to play it safe. Look at that. Nice. Oh, the three nice. six. How would the ace hit worked out there? He would have fanned. That was kind of a. Speaking fan. of ace hits, now he's just got to come on out. Which one, Ray? Um, it's going to not make a whole lot of difference. <clears throat> I don't know. Jib said something it was probably significant. I guess I'd come off the four point, but I have to admit, I don't know why. All right. That doesn't give him a good six. He says, all right. And I have to hit. Well, he's kind of happy to hit. Even if he's got to leave a shot, he's unstacking the... Deuces? Oh, my Look God. Look out. One. One. He could make the four point. He hit. should hit and make the five point. All of the day. I think. Well, you can hit him there. But now it's he gets hit if he rolls a four instead of he just anchors if he rolls a four. And the other play gives him nine shakes that fan. So I, I sort of like making the point and uh, giving him a chance. But he put two guys up, so we'll see what happens. Double just twos. One. That was going to be there pretty good. Oh, my God. Not a bad shake. Guy that just so permutations galore here. And the one-roll one thing making the five-point. Would have worked out quite a bit better. Although he would have got pointed on. But now Ron's under huge pressure to roll a four. Or he might be looking at a cube because... There's the four. Ask and you shall receive. Nichols. Does that hit? No, it doesn't. Uh, what do you do? Come to the... They come to the 10. 
I think he wants that point. Yeah. And then which ever one? I guess he's going to step out. You, you got to pump some checkers into the outfield. You got blots back in there. Well, he could come to the eight too and have another builder. XG kind of pumps him into the outfield. You want to have a presence out there, I think. But if Z yeah. made this play, that's probably right. There, Fernando Newmark is in the house. Hello, Fernando. So Ron's got a two left. Doesn't really want it there, but he might as well just put that guy in the ace, I guess. Otherwise, you're leaving, you're giving direct and fly shots. So there you go. Don't try to do too much with it. Now okay, what? do Which you clean up point? or do you make the vibe? That's a nice blocking point. Might as well play offense, right? He's the checker distribution for Ron is pretty. I, I kind of oh like that. Did that. I kind of wow. like, like that. Okay. Ron had. Uh, well, yeah. look at it that. I like to make him the other five point, but we'll see <laughs> how this works out. And he, you know, the hardest thing to make there was uh, Ron's five point. And so Z did that, and he figured he could make these other points later. And it looks like um, he's going to have no trouble with that. So in general, when you got a choice of two things, do the one that's hardest to do. And that case was making the defensive five point. Look at this. There's the old five point. So now he's got both five both points. Both five points. And access to the cube. He may have one too many things, Bill. Isn't there a medical term for that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the race? We're going to have to find out what that is pretty soon. It's pretty close. That's 38, and that's 36. So Z's up 2, 3, 4. Uh, well, I got him on the count. Okay. Some people are lobbying for a cube here, but... Uh... Yeah, that would be a little too late. Well, with the three blots in there, he, he can do this. He had the blocking thing, but Ron would have a take all day long because of the race is so close. So um, you don't want to give away gift-wrapped cubes, even if it's getting close to Christmas time. want to uh, give them something to think about. <clears throat> well, what else? Are you, if he doesn't break the anchor, what's he going to do, Bill? Well, he's got three blots over there. Um, well, he sort do of you has dare three. make the bar or something? Well... But that wouldn't be as good a blocking uh, position as he has right now. And it would entail leaving two blocks. So he keeps uh, the block a, six away and he starts the next point. That's a good option. Good, I think. And it denies Ron the opportunity to... Uh, He's just going to have to make two points. To mess board. around with his block back in the board. Uh, I agree. When he uh, doesn't have Thomas, anything else that to looked do. like a, a very nice play to me. Oh, but where's the deuce? Three one. Yeah, that's the only thing to do. I mean, it's just awkward unless he's going to go to the two point from the bar. I think he wants that blocking point. There we go. And Ron's got a little, uh, little but, difficulty negotiating the next play, perhaps. But again, because he went to the ace point, if Ron rolls a five, he can afford to leave the anchor. Three one. That just uh, he'll just clean up the board. And the board, and then he'll be able to leave the anchor. Now, now Zdenek's got reason. to play. Although that plays, he'll make the ace point here. Make the ace point. Brandon Macklin is in the house. All right. Well, I got to get out then because we got a money game. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he just got to go to the six. Yep, he would have minded getting a five and getting out of there, but if while mm. we're wishing for numbers, Z wanted an eight. Okay, he, he got a seven, up. which was okay. Have you recovered, Brandon, from your international travels now? 
He went over there and won again, didn't he? He, he cashed something, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. In Cyprus. He Mr. was in the semifinals or something. I, I don't remember what it was. And he may have won that. I don't know. He might have got the final. Okay. Okay, here we go. Kind of who blinks. Yo, that's not an eight. That was it's about not, It's not a 10 awkward. either. Yeah. That was an awkward one. There's a 10. There's a 10, which is... Uh, Playable. And the race is just too close for either of these guys to stop and There's think about There's yesterday's the eight. Yeah, here we go. So now he comes out with two. Nothing but eights, probably. Yeah, we're going to call this match. Eight's the, the other way. Can't do that. It'd be about 30 shots. So you recommend breaking the six-point, Bill? Um. What would you do, Ray? Okay, I like that. <laughs> now, he's giving up. I don't know. Uh, well, we saw Ron's a taker, so he's probably, if Z sends this over, Ron's ahead in the race, and he's going to take, and he should, as well he should. So I I'm don't know. I'm not sure Z's going to send it. Or no, should I'm not send sure it. either, but he's thinking about it. So we get to pontificate about whether or not well, we and think it, he should. As, uh, where is he? Kit has often said every every turn is a doubling opportunity, right? So Yep, you got to stop and think about it. So how should uh, Z shouldn't necessarily want to leave too many fly shots. He wants to make well, How the, far behind is he here? Well, it's 52 42. 40, so he's 60. he's down 10 28 uh 38 minus the rest of that stuff 30 92 36 8 10 30 well 72 73 he's down like 19 pips i got 30 yeah 18 i got so um but he's on shake so he's gonna well, that's clean nice, that up a little maybe bit maybe nice shake what's he do with the others oh come to the five. Oh, double four no yeah come to the five <laughs> yep, that looks like it, Bill. You found the right play. Come in, Stevie, if you want to. Certainly, thank you. Oh, not Steve Sachs. <laughs> I, 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 I take it you didn't win the last chance? I got to the fourth round. Hey, hey, hey. Where Neil Kazros taught me how to roll. <laughs> That's one thing Neil knows. How to roll, although... We've, we've, got, a, we've got a match here. Yeah, we sure do. I mean, what was the biggest lead anybody had? This this yeah. is the biggest lead anybody had. Yeah, worth time. And at so, this, at he's this, got he a, he's got three fours left to play, Steve. So what do you think? He just made cover to Deuce Point. And he's got three fours left. Go to the five. Definitely. That they had a break before this game. Mm -hmm. and at that point, Z was playing two two eight, and Ron was playing four zero one. So that's Ron, about normal for Ron. I mean, he's a fine player. And ZZ's like, uh, he's the new thing. He's the latest. He's thinking about bringing those two in and leaving a couple of fly shots, but trust me, Ron will be very happy to hit one of those fly shots. Or roll boxes. See. So why you want to get Oh, yeah. Out. Well, yeah, that uh, would I think add that to the mix. I think going Steve? to the five is uh, legit. 17-5. Yeah. Thank you, Eddie. All right, the commentators are in unison about 17 to 5, but Z is trying to talk himself into some other play. What is this, Macklin owe you money or something? Is there is anybody Steve he Sachs, doesn't owe money? He's the best commentator no. in the world. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think I'm almost in a, as entertaining as Ray. <laughs> That's hard. Oh, so okay, so he did go to the five, which was, and here we go. Now he's. Way, oh, you know that might have been why he was thinking about breaking that because the sixes would have to go, but only six. He's way behind in the count. More anyway. Well, what was that? I forget when we counted that, but um, this uh, is just a take. You don't have to like it. You just got to take it as, because uh, you're up in the race. Seventy-five for black. This is what Justin Knoll calls the Nike decision. Just do it. Uh, mm -hmm. 
swoosh. Okay. How how is uh, Zizzy gonna play six five? I'm sorry. I said, how's he gonna play six five? <laughs> I know. I see he's got to play safe. Okay, so Ron's, Ron's probably kind of... running here. He rolls a what a four or a five or uh, a six. Well, six if, depending on the six. If Ron was done busted down to a three point board, I'd consider just making this play. I think against a four point board, you just yeah, can't, you can't. You, you gotta shot. you gotta be careful. But once it gets down to the three point board, there's some that situations the, uh, where you're supposed to trap. That was a take by fifty three. What? So that close? Oh, fifty three. Huh? You just 053. do it, but only barely, huh? Yeah. Okay, so. But, you know, it was. Thank you, Martin, for this transcription assistance you're providing. Now, this is good. And, and like we were talking about earlier, I mean, Z plays relatively quickly, but that leaves him a lot of time late, or in this case, mid game, to. Um, to study the uh, and uh, elaborate or deliberate on the tough, this, tough, this, significant decisions. This here play would increase the volatility by about 18 miles both ways. It'd be bad to get hit, but it would be powerful when uh, if Ron has to leave here, Z's only option to hit him is to you know roll a six. Otherwise, he had three builders to point on him. Okay, and here That's we advertised. go. He made the safe play. He's got one builder instead of three, but we. I think and if he doesn't roll the six, then Ron's on shake on in the key. Oh, look what a fantastic out. shake oh, here! Out. That was Whoa. pretty good. That, that was the best ten. Three. Well, you got to stay for the six too, huh? No. I mean, that's the only shot that you're going to get, and uh, it's just less go. likely than one, two, one, 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 three, so one, four. Just, just go to the race. Huh? Yeah, you might as well just right. I mean, there's only seven pips. Yeah, although. and and it, so just there you, you just go. Won. <laughs> this way, you get into the race 100 percent of the time he, instead of he, most he, of I, the I time. I actually would not have brought the checker into the six because he does not get a checker off with double fives this way. He but would've. he doesn't mind rolling it. No, that's true. <laughs> yeah, this one's. I just he needs to roll one big set. That's not two one of and them. one. Yeah. Like that. All right. Well, that was a good game. A well timed cube. Good take and uh, dice broke Z's way. Double fives was a nice shake. This eight, has seven. been a hell of a match. Eight seven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we well, got you, a little more who, discomfort. Who would, who would you take here, Bill? At eight seven, Ron's got a one point lead, but that's Zizi and Zizi. Uh, I don't know, Zizi, Zizi. And Z's. I would take Ron if he had a two point lead right now. Yeah. Seriously, I'm still taking Z. He's got sixteen minutes to Ron's ten. It's it's about a coin toss right now, huh? He was playing in side events like all day yesterday. I'm like, geez, I'm in the finals. And he's playing in side events. That's relaxed. Yeah, he was in the finals of the seniors. And, um, but Ray took care of him. Spehar, the other Ray. Yeah. yeah. Ray is hard to beat. <laughs> uh, is he not so cool, Ray? <laughs> Mr. Spehar? He's he's warm, he's Ray. Pretty this cool. is cool, Ray. Oh, look! If uh, he didn't have a hit play, did he? Can he can make the ace here. Now Put this is the right way to do this. You hit with that one, and then you start thinking about the other. Just play them. I try to teach Aaron to do that one he, at a time. And... He wants to play them all at once. I always wonder how bad it is to just make the ace point and put two guys up. And the and. He's going to think about it. Now, if you don't get a five. And Zizzy's got two more blocks floating around in the outfield. You're so, in yeah. awful shape, right? Big there you go. Big shake. Uh, big one. No longer a double. Z got the memo. 
five, great roll. Simplicity. What happened here, Tara? I don't know. Get rid of this damn that. thing. Come and tell me to shut up on the. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was a buck for the trophy. Please That's it. something to eat. Uh, bottom right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but they have. Hey, hey, thanks, Tara. Boxes to That's what we need. What Technical expert. Look at this. Great, another great shake by Ron. He Ooh, just cheese. makes a four point and then what, Steve? Oh, how many more does he have to play? He's got all of them. He's going to make the four point, isn't he? <laughs> Can't leave it. Oh, wait, is this black or, or make the black 11? or white? White. White's got it. Oh. Wow. Oh, go. he could leave no blots, but he'd have to stack up. Now you and make. Strip I make the, the I make the four and the eleven. You make the eleven for starters, and then think about the rest. I don't know about that. I might just start the eleven. I don't want necessarily the eleven point. You're yeah. ahead in the race, and you're going to have to break that later. We have Sam in the house, the one know. and only Sam. Just put a blot out there. What's he going to do? Break his anchor and hit you? MCG. But I didn't want to make the 11 because then you're going to have to break it later in a game where you're ahead in the race. So anyway, he and he didn't make it and he didn't leave the blot. Maybe that was the best of all worlds. I don't know. Might have just MCG been the best MCG is standing here biding his time. He's playing Kit Woolsey in the Masters final immediately after this match. What's the race here? So this is 39 for Wade out there, and he's up 14. Oh, okay. Easy. Whoa. Oh. 23. That's uh, Zdeniak's favorite new word is scoop. Look at this shake. Of course, the shot. Leave a shot. So six to three, three to two. So he's going to go to the two point and leave a two shot, right? Okay. Didn't seem very volatile, uh, so probably, I mean, especially with five checkers on the midpoint. I think I'm going to wait there. Yeah, that's all bad. So probably play six to four. No, that's it. I think six point. Well, Z already got a shot, but he missed it, so Z's he's going to have to wait for another opportunity. Heavy construction duty going on in his home board over six here. What? Uh oh, six four. He's going to have to break the eight point, right? It's not that bad a roll. <laughs> yeah, but it just doesn't leave a landing space out there. Ooh, is he supposed to leave with that? No, might just bring down two. No. So I guess he maybe doesn't want to get. There's some gammons getting manufactured by getting hit there. Ninety four to one twenty nine. He's up fourteen. Wow. Huh. Got a large expanse of territory to have to traverse here with these checkers. Well, he could have picked and passed. Chris Trencher is there. in the house. Hey, Chris. There's some more nice uh, comments available to us with Trencher. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Hi, Chris. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Z is going to get to run. We can run out there and figure this out. 75, 84 to 104. 84, 104? Yeah. Okay, that's 39 and 40. So white's up 1, 17, 11, 21, 17. I'm behind in my uh, emails and so forth, but thank you for your recent reg oh, look at registration, this. Chris. Look at this. All right, well. I don't, okay, I don't know about that, too. Wow, great shot. Wow. Okay. Well, if Ron fans, then uh, Zizi can play on here. Let's, oh, I don't. Ooh. I think he needed to think about that one. I mean, even if it is a redouble. Well, that was an intimidating thing. Neil no, Kazaros the, throws the cube around yeah, like it's, that, it's, and sometimes it's spinning when it lands. No, yeah, well, I don't understand what he's thinking like for 45 seconds or a minute and a half. The point is, he's, he just let him know, I'm taking this point. Yeah, but that's... But I think you're right. He, and uh, I was telling Bill during the break that they both need to slow down a little bit because uh, uh, one of the blunders that was made was point two or something, and the guy took a cube really fast. It was just a bad take, you know. Right. And if you think for a little while, you... I, I didn't see the... There was very much risk in playing on there. But, you know... um. 
everybody has a style, and Z's style is to play fast, you know. And he knew well, he's it. He's 23 so he years old. We only gets to my age. Yeah, right. 62. Let's see how fast you he is then. A little, lose we'll a little see, speed then. Let's see how fast he is then. <laughs> and how old will I be? 101? 101. 101. 102. I don't know. I don't know about You'll that. You'll probably have checked out by then. I know I will. I'll be playing Chouette in Heaven with you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck with you. <laughs> Stuck with <Steven> too. <laughs> uh, okay. What Probably we got thirteen here? nine. Now look, we've got a real close match, and Ron's not in time trouble yet, but he has a considerably less time than than Z. So let's see what uh, you know. Was that the first here? time? Maybe Z just wanted to get ahead in this match. Is that why he doubled fast? Because this is the first know. time he was up, isn't it? First time he's up. I think. I don't know. Right, wrong, or indifferent. It's, I think sometimes he he uses tries to use fast play and all in a intimidation Flashy. sense. Yeah, well, you know, young guys are like that. Aaron does the same thing. He doesn't have, young's not that, Aaron's he, not that young. He doesn't have quite as much game as, uh, as Z, though. Oh, there's Aaron. In the bathroom over here. <laughs> I come out. And So's your game. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was looking for his game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lordy. We try to provide good commentary and lots of entertainment as well. All right. Looks like uh, ZZ's got a comfy... He's, I mean, he's down in the race, but he's going to be able to play his things. And Ron's going to, if he moves that guy on the midpoint, there's the, oh, the stupid 6-2 that got him last time. He's going to start to hate that number. You know, sometimes you get that when you're on the bar. They call that 2-6 from the bar. 6-1. <laughs> All right. Is he going to make the anchor? Nope, he's going to do this. That makes sense. He doesn't want to get hit now. That provides Ron some extra options. So he'll just uh, build the two point. Yeah, that would have been overthinking a little bit to make the three point lead two blocks. And uh, we've seen this variation. Ron stripped on uh, four points, and Z's going to be. He's waiting for his shot, stalking victims. But he's got to leave a shot of his own. So really help Ron out to roll a two here. How about fours? May the fours that's be not, with you. That's not too good. No. Krakatoa, you said Java. No, I don't know about that. Don't laugh at encouraging Tara. You know? Wait a minute. Well, so he's whole, you, Steve. You didn't like that. You would have cleared the eight point. Yeah, because you might have to pop out of the uh, off the anchor, and you want to have a better board. Protect yeah. Yourself. Uh, yeah, you want to have it. I mean, the board is you know essentially the same. It's the same size, and size is important. <laughs> We've demonstrated that during this match repeatedly. <clears throat> Five two. Let's see. Your play would have been better, Steve. He, he could have played to five two. Now he's leaving leaving a shot with it. Uh, is ZZ gonna have a threat enough to send it? Even though he's down mm, in the race? No. No, because even if he hits it and the guy fans, he might still have a take, right? And especially if he came in. Wow. So I don't know. I would be tempted to slot the six point because then I might be able to remake it. And it's less shots. That's a couple of reasons for that. I don't know that it's the best or anything. Mm. 
Now, again, this is one of those. No sense. And what about ooh, this? Ooh, Running ooh, off the anchor. Ooh, ooh, uh, that'll ooh. get. I, now there's fly shots and pointing numbers. This might be enough of a threat to fire away. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. All right. That was interesting because. Ron gave uh, Z a chance to make a mistake with the cube there, but Z was too smart for that. He so didn't fall for that. Martin said all three plays were about equal. So uh, Ron can think about doubling here. Yeah, he could. Should he come in there? I think maybe he should do this and slot the ace point because yeah, you don't give him the pick and passes, right? Oh, he's going to come out there. Yeah. Yeah. I, would, I would double this. You have a four-point board. You have a race lead. You're trailing in the match. Well, one thing that happened is the last cube Ron gave, he, he got hit and lost it. So he's being a little bit careful. Yeah, but the double that double was a little too early, and this one was right on time. And yeah, this double pass. But here. this one would have come after, <laughs> had to come after you. You got beat on the last one, so that's why he slowed down a little bit, maybe. It's a but he's not human nature it. thing. He's not taking advantage of the skill disparity. He needs to double more aggressively playing Zedenic. Should yeah, we all the do. Shake. Okay, nine all. Anybody know how to play a six-point match? Um, I, I don't work on it often. but uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Here's the deal. You double and win a backgammon. Oh, okay. That's, that's the plan A. Plan A, huh? Was there any was there any possibility that that was a take? I mean, no. Z passed it. Okay. No, it was either too good or just a drop. Okay. Okay. Great shot for Ron. Early lead. So that breaking anchor play worked out really well for Ron that time. Um, he got hit loose, he hit back, and then he won the game. Could have went... All right. We Bad should, the other we way. We can expect a double on the next shake here. Yeah. Double. Z, I don't think Z will take it. Maybe if he had the five point, man, he could, he could make the five point and think well, about taking. Uh, is it a take, though? I don't know. Oh, he's splitting up. Okay. It's a mandatory cube. The race is close, but he's got a prime. They both have the five point. He's got a three shot. Yeah, you're up in the it's a huge double. Yeah, he, he's up be, in the race, and he's got attacking chances, and you know all that stuff. Be so, sure you're going in daylight, Ian. But seven pip lead. Seven is that I, what it is? I don't think Z will take it. I don't think he should take it. And Ron should definitely double. He does. There's double. the cube. And let's see how fast Z passes this. Well, he had a little time to think about it, but he's going to think about it some more. So you think this is a pass? I think he will pass. What I think do you, it, I do you think it is a pass? What would Steve do? Uh, if it's a seven pip lead, I don't, I don't like. I, I pass it. I don't like. It. Well, I'll give you that. I don't like this kind of position either. None of us do on the human race. All right, we're down in the race. We get position and threats. Right? Yeah. But the threes are duplicated. I know we can try and find and make an excuse for taking. <clears throat> now several of them ryan wants to take it i think he said <laughs> ryan wants to take it now jerry tansy i like his comment he said zz will put him on five away oh that's like so, to salient play. point okay yeah right he's not gonna take and get backgammon for the match <laughs> well you don't hardly get backgammon see in these kind of positions if you get closed out only if you got the ace anchor I, I would I, I I think it's a pass, but I definitely would pass if I'm Zizzy. Well, how about this? All right. Uh Ron's playing a four and uh It's a small pass by thirty three. So that means it's a take because you're not playing X G. And so I like that take by Z Z. I don't know that I would have been man enough to do it myself, but I like it. I used to say if someone would stand behind my opponent and hold up a 1.1, that I would take those and do better than passing in these. Oh, look at this. He's going to wish. Uh -oh. I hate that. Neil hates this worse than anything. 
He Having doesn't think anybody uh, should be able to roll doubles from the bar. Neil. <laughs> if you get hit, he enters, he hits, he covers. He's going to choose how many guys to hit. It just sucks. Neil doesn't think that's fair. I don't think that anybody should know as much as Neil does about backgammon. So that's not fair neither. <laughs> that's got to be it. I think it? that's got to be it. If somebody, oh, if you yeah. flunk here, then you're, you're going to Gammon City. Tempo? Look out. Oh, oh unbelievable. Bang, because bang. He's looking at getting Gammon to Look, go down. They both nine. violated the rule of no doubles from the bar. Make, make the three. <laughs> hmm. Make the three point make the distribution. The three point. Get hit back. Un unstack solid. You know, it's so easy to make the three point when you're in the commentator's chair. And leave those fly shots. Oh, I'll never get hit there. <laughs> but when you're over the board, hit, you're like, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he leave that? Okay, good. Everybody thinks you made a Chris good play. Chris says make the three-point entering fives are duped. This is the role of the match here. That wasn't, a, that wasn't an entering five. Oh, ZZ didn't think about it, but he's going to. He, he didn't have a redouble there. Okay. Okay. Did he play on? Two, six in a bar or what? Two, five is a little better. One, six, two. Uh -oh. So now we're. Uh oh. ZZ should just redouble here. Still got a lot of work Spies to do. Spies were get, duplicated. I don't think it's necessarily. It'd be too a good. monster pass. Well, wouldn't it just be great to win four points? But he's not. Yeah, but too Ron's, good. Ron's got a chance to win because ZZ's got three checkers behind a four prime. So. Well, he's definitely not too good, right? Because of that. I think, can, I think it's just double. Probably pass. Is what do we think Ron's going to do? He Ryan was, he says took, never a recube, in my opinion. Uh, Here. Ron took a, a bad cube earlier in the match, and he did it pretty fast. I don't know if anybody's taken this one very fast in the finals of the Las Vegas Open. Um, this is... Uncomfortable. Would, which would you rather have them do, roll or W out, Steve? Well, here we go. Yeah, all right. I think I would be uncomfortable if they roll. I don't want to get gammon, but. Wow, okay. But Ron survived because he rolled there. He probably would have collected the points. He stole. Now he's going to have to perform it. He's got three Favorite guys back the there. Five, oh, four. Man. Well, you're going to have to come off the anchor. Absolutely. Pretty scary. Lift. So I think you were right, Steve. He was supposed to double there. Hussein the is redouble. in the house. Hussein Paknad. Hussein says, if I'd have taken that cube, I'd have been on the bar with four men watching my opponent play. <laughs> Mm. Well, all of us here commentating have much, you know, performed that feat. <laughs> That's why you're not there and you're here. Right, remember? right. Okay. Oh. Well, it's not an absolute disaster, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. A couple of shakes ago, you could add two points. I, I didn't know it was right, but it looks like. I don't know. No cube. One. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> cube by 104, pass by 32. So it was real close. But I don't, you know, you're playing people, and there was not very many people that would have taken that one. Look at this shot. Oh, that's a shot. It's, that's not the right six, is it? He's supposed to. Yeah, you'd want to keep the anchor. Why? You're going to leave with it. Okay, okay, now you're, you're what? You're closer to escaping with two on the 20. Now what? Now he's going out with now he's six. Just... Out, 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 out. This is like Sixes a slow. Sixes don't grow on trees. This is like a slow roll here. What's he thinking? I got a straight flush. I'm going to wait 20 seconds to show you. Yeah. How he cannot come out here. Well, because he thinks he, maybe because he could send the cube on the next shake. Yeah, I don't with know. two behind the prime, yeah, I see that, but. He we, could do it anyway, I guess, unless he gets hit, of course, right? Two, five from the bar. Does that ever happen? There you go. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> he right. says, I'm not missing another cube in Excellent this game. Double. <clears throat> okay. 11-9. Four away, six away. 
Now, this is the last juncture where Z can throw over sexy cubes when he's four away. They got to shift gears if you get any closer to the end. But it's kind of neat to throw over a cube and then gammon the guy with perfect efficiency. And then start looking for the director and find out when that trophy presentation is. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a good game, too. This ain't going to be a holding wow. game. Prime versus prime. Wow, oh, naturals. Oh, All man. Naturals. All natural. That's like, I like my girlfriend. Okay, here comes the cube, right? What do you think? You like that? Uh, mm. I don't know, man. Double. Uh, he's going to have a, the best position. Looks like a double at score. Don't even think about it. Yep. What, does he, what does he know? I've just run out. Run, run out, out to the 15. He heard he certainly me. goes forward, right? He, the 50, he heard me. No, you just uh, you bring two down here, Steve. That's what you do, brother. I don't think and so. And then you can give him the cube next time, unless he hits. And if he hits, it's no big deal. Game over. You bring two down, and then it's game over unless you get hit. Yeah, but then you're leaving an extra fly shots. Who cares? I they care don't, if I get hit with those fly shots. They don't shots. usually hit fly shots. B5 fo. You're not going to step up and give him a free deal. You just bring four builders, and the game's over if you get missed. It's simple process. Okay. Rebello wants to go to the 15. He wants to run? Okay. Yeah. Haven't seen the. Uh... He wants to do my play. I can tell. How many numbers hit? Six, one, six, two, six, four, six numbers. And you're going to give him 13 plus fives and six, four. Yeah, but that's the eight. impact of getting hit with a three is not nearly as Do you as have a double hit. out if he misses you after you run? No. Maybe. Actually, I thought you should have doubled. He should have doubled this roll. Why 15 not? is minus 100. Uh-huh. Oh. Uncle Ray got it. <laughs> <laughs> now double. <laughs> you got away with it. Now cube it. Yeah. It's not right to come bring down two and then not double. You got to complete the mission, as they say. So you take as Ron if you get double? Four, no. Four, I don't think three. so. The game's over, man. The game's over unless you roll. That's all. Oh, Kara. Which she won the limited, limited jackpot. jackpot. Very good. What? She, did? she came in second? Oh, Vinny won. Here's the cube. Oh, Kara. You're putting a the test to him. Ah, okay. He won that two times in a row. How long can you be limited for, Ritz? That's what I want to know. Well, there's a limited amount of time that you can remain limited. Yeah. yeah. First name, last name. Thanks. Uh, ZZ is pretending that he's considering to double in order to obtain a take. Oh, that would be gamesmanship. gamesmanship? That's not allowed in Vegas. A 24-year-old. It's Director. Zero, somebody says it's a 0008 pass. 008 pass? 0008. Okay, and he that's took out, it. Out. Bad roll for Zez. And he Zedenic. took it. This was a bad zero, shake, but if Ron happens zero, to turn zero, the game around, well, anyway, so so then that's another great take because you're playing a human and they're not going to get that much out of it. But uh, so let's give Ron credit where credit's due. I even though it was a pass, it's got to be right to take it against because you're not playing XG. You want to increase the volatility against a player yeah, that plays then you two can, PR better than you. And the other thing is, no matter who you are, once you give away the cube, you start playing like crap. Because, and I'm not kidding. That's what you Everyone? you shy away from the the plays that you ought to make. You know, Is that a six five, six four. You feel that way when you cube, Steve? You gotta go. No. 
It's true. Just make the deuce. Po I make the deuce point. Whether you like to admit it or not, it's true. I might be wrong. Deuce point. There's no hitters. Deuce point. Or should he run? He There's got no, total outfield control. That's Tara nice. suggesting maybe running because it's reasonable. There's no direct. Okay. Hitters. Also, if he runs and Z doesn't hit him, then we're going to be eating some fork. Rebello wants to run. And then he'll put the pressure back on Z. And that's the other thing about giving a cube that somebody takes. How, how are your nerves when the four cube comes back, you know? And, um, but he didn't, he didn't choose that option. So he's still going to uh -oh. have to run off uh -oh. the, he's got now, the three and the, now. does four got to come up? I don't know. Got to come out sometime. Uh, otherwise he's going to roll a five. He might crack later you got to do it now yeah good play. all right just do it justin Knowles nike play what is that nickels five, four. oh nickels terrible or is it five four i thought it was nickels i thought it was five four five five so oh, five, that's five. brutal that's brutal you got to switch and just bring it down oh, he's got a hit yeah oh, where is this He's right, I think. You just switch and bring I, it down. Yeah, just try and get off the... You're not going to win the game. Just, oh, it's 5-4. Oh, well, then that's, that's pretty obvious. Ah. Baked uh, his all out. Big roll. Ooh. Now you can come out and confront that block. Oh, yeah. Go for the gammon, for the this, match, this and the could championship. Be, uh, this could be match. <clears throat> Any deucer four, he misses, but... We're at 448, Tara. I would, he's, he's supposed to stay there and shoot at that guy. I think so. But I, maybe shoot at him from the five point. If if he comes in and hits, he's got to hit off the five point, and then you still get a shot at him. So I I, I would leave the guy on the outside. Is it duplicating aces, ace, 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 deuce, as who, opposed to... Ace, ace is going to kill you anyway. Well, I would stay on the five point. No, I wouldn't. Okay. What do you There's roll? an ace. Ace, ace. Ace, ace. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have got... Ah! Ah! He would have got switched on anyway. So. Okay, so what should maybe he's should he slot this and try to win? I mean, it's mm. not that much more gammonish, but it's a lot more winnish. So if he slots a five point, he's trying to win, and uh, if he makes the bar point, he's trying not to lose. What if he? And if he look. If he gets gammon, the match is over. So I can understand trying to shy away from that. But why not? Uh, the best way to not get gammon is to win the game. Ace deuce. Now, attack mode. <clears throat> well, he, he played it where he didn't have any sixes on the other side because he's going to use the sixes on this side. <clears throat> Good play. Duplicating deuces. Deuces. Oh, I see. Yeah, 6-2. As opposed to six four. Look at here. Oh, huge next couple of shakes coming up. Zdenek to come in or Ron to pop out. And Zdenek did come in and safety the blot here. Wow. Early in the match, uh, Ron was getting so called stick three. That? Who said that? Oh, look at this. Look at this. This was like the only thing that gave Ron some winning equity after that five. Our question is, is this a recube? Oh, not yet. Not yet. Are you sure? Hold on. Wait a minute. Look, you got to think about what you're doing. You're in the finals of the Vegas tournament. And the other guy sees that he could get closed out with a four. Uh, you can't. I don't think you're going to scare it. Yeah, but it Z. might be a redouble just because he has to leave it slaughtered. And if he gets hit, he's getting gammoned anyway for the match. So Right. So you, you might as well win when you win this game, right? I mean, I don't know. Let's see. I got a feeling it's probably technically no re-whip. Oh, whoa, excellent. Congratulations to Ron. Right or wrong? Good guts it's powerful. There. And Dimitri he's going to take it. This game's going to be. He absolutely going to take it, right? I mean. Oh, yeah. Two checkers behind a five prime, and he isn't even covered yet. So. I think it's a reasonable redouble, but for sure a take. Six four would be a nice shake, oh. but then you probably That's follow it double oh. aces. Oh, look at this nice sexy four cube, Neil. Now all you got to do is win this game, and you're the champion, Z. This is the easiest take of all time. Yeah, do you think it's a redouble though? No, it's not the easiest take of all away. time. Redoubling? 
easier. It's psychologically more difficult than it seems. I would not redouble. Okay. No redouble by 55. Okay. Well, uh, who said that? That's where, 055, right? Where is he no, on the yeah, 055. all time ABT list? That guy that said that this is no double. Well, if I may speak <laughs> so I can be heard, the problem with redoubling this is you can you can cover with the four, can't cover with four one. Oh, yeah. So you only have 13 numbers that cover, and you roll one of those 13 numbers and still lose. Yeah. He can roll six however, four and crack on the next. However, year. based on the pressure and based on how well I know ZZ plays, and there's certainly nothing wrong with Ronald's game, but probably I think Ronald playing ZZ probably will win this match more often by redoubling this. Game. Agreed, Neil. Good call. So this is, uh, gotta, in Neil's estimation, this is Ron's shot at an upset here. So somebody, I don't know, I one thing you don't, uh, did somebody run this and said it was 055 no double? Correct. 055. Okay. 0.853? 0.853? 0.893. 0.893. So just god-awful take. So if he, if he passes, how much does he lose? 160 or something? 893 so he loses 107 he loses 107 if he passes yes i i just don't think he's going to drop even with just, any considered no player differential is only worth 052 now you got to you know you got to take this the it's a bad double but how bad would it be to pass Okay. So, okay, so let's stop for a second. If it's 055 wrong to double, he's risking 55 cents to gain $8.93. Okay, so now what has to happen is that it's something like uh, 10, 12, 13 to 1 odds he's getting on this, and uh, it becomes a profitable investment. <laughs> This thing, like Hassan, Hussein Pachnahard said, he said, he, you know, Zizi knows it's not even a double, right? Right. He's going to take it. He's going to yeah, take he's it. he's going to, but, like, of course, he's wasted three minutes now. Oh, he passed it. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. There goes the PR. Oh, man. I would have bet. I would have laid four to one he was going to take there. Now, there's the – see, that was the – that was a Vegas. That's a Vegas player. We're in Las Vegas, and he risked a fifty-five to gain nine bucks, and he put the money in his pocket. Wow! But we'll see. Four-way, four-way. Maybe Z's going to plan on. He's going to. Oh, what a great redouble! Take his Bill. chances. Yeah. <laughs> and, Steve Brackel, Eva, call your son. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve called it. He commended Ron for doing that. Given, given that there's any chance that you're going to which I don't believe, except I saw it. There it is, 5.5. Well, you just saw it, that there was some chance that the opponent would pass. So there it is. Yeah. 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 My, my estimate of that number Wow. Well, take a look at the thing and see if they're reading it right. <laughs> well, they, uh, you could just run to the 13 point with the 5 2 here. I'll take a look. <laughs> well, like one guy says, right. and he's probably right, is that yeah, ZZ, you just, said it right. Maybe he feels he can just, he'll outplay in the rest a, of the match. That's yeah, giving up too much, especially against a player of Ron's okay, ability. No, don't roll it out. It's Ron's okay. decent, you know. Beautiful. Yeah, Ron's not a bad. How many player players play all? under five? And he's playing under five, so. Okay. Well, we don't need a roll out, but that's good. It's going to be done in a second. All right. So. That's right. There's a roll But it's a four feud. He doesn't lose the match if he loses a feud. If he gets gammoned, he does. Gammon wasn't that high. Nine. If he loses the game, oh, yeah. 
And he gets to double early on the yeah, next one. I, I didn't see that. Well, we are we are getting some excitement for our money here today. After you, I mean, it's just like yeah, an amazing blunder. <clears throat> well, you know what? Anyway, I, I have a feeling that uh, ZZ is one of the greatest players on the planet now. And, but he would really like to win his first tournament, so I guess the pressure got to him a little bit, and I don't blame him, okay? Yeah, but that's, you can't justify the drop. You're not a better player if you're passing those. That's the, you you know, you put that in question. I would just make the uh, 11 point here. For sure. Well, I, I think what Kettler said, though, comes I understand. fully into play that, you know, Ron doubled, redoubled, because he's a weaker player, and Z passed it for the same reason. So what's the PR differential? One and a half PR, maybe? Maybe two at the most? Yeah, it's about two. Well, now, and, and but, that, but now the PR is in Ron's favor after that. Yeah. Probably. I mean, you don't. But Those Joe Urso pretty... makes the point, and he's right. If he knew he was giving up that much, there's no way he drops. But... He didn't know. Well, he knew what he was giving up. He didn't get to 3,100 on Galaxy by not knowing what the right decision was. Yeah, but so you it don't... had to be something else. But, Ray, you don't play the finals uh, on Galaxy. You play them here in Vegas live. Right. You get you still get your PR advantage. Now let's see. Is this time to leave and Absolutely. duplicate aces? Okay. Play, I no. I would play sixteen and six. Yeah. Oh, I would have left the anchor there. Yeah, for sure. With those three blots back. Well, there. see, the other thing is that he knows he he made a bad pass in the last game, and that could still be affecting him while he's playing this. How does he know? He doesn't know. Yes, he knows. Then why did he pass in the first place? Pressure. And you do funny things in the finals sometimes. I know we both have, right, Steve? Oh, my goodness. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> and we were never as good as this young man. 96. Six pips. Oh, that's a game winner. Well, that's why he stayed back. He figured he'd just... 30 pips right Come now. Come around in two shakes. 30 pips minus right. irrelevant double pass. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, now we're getting to the area of the game where we're going to have some... Uh, Altered cube decisions, right, Steve? One guy's three away and the other's four away. Oh, yeah. And they, the leader has to be very careful about doubling here because his take on a rewhip is uh, 40, 41%, right, Steve? That's correct. Try it, Justin. They don't count scores, they just count W's. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right now, ZZ's playing 4 3 5, Ron's playing 3 6 7. See, so what if you take the wrong pet? Playing if he takes that cube like he should under two, probably. He, was, he was two two before. He was two two before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's about what. Yeah, that's what he can. He can, he can play like that. But I mean, if you play two two and you lose, <laughs> that's not as good as playing four and winning. But anyway, that's that would that would be too too bad. That wasn't the easiest take of all time. That was the second easiest take of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Neil, from our chair in the announcer's booth, it's much easier to take that. <laughs> I've won. I have never lost a match where I asked the easiest take of all time. Oh, is he supposed to hit Steve or just make a prime? Then Ron just builds. He's got I'd probably giving him fly actually, shots. Probably hit and lift. Oh, is it even? This is like 10 numbers. Could plus, it be a pick and pass even? Ryan I, says pick and pass. That's what I want. Oh, Ryan. He's a smart guy, that Ryan. 
Hi, Hi, Ryan. How you doing, man? Me, Ray. They can pass. That's and that just feels like a bad play. Like, but it minimizes the shots, you know. <laughs> and it and it cut. It doesn't give Ron this whole want. shake. It doesn't. I, yeah, I, I like this. Uh, one guy said that it was a rope a dope pass in the last game. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look, he did it. He oh, did it. Ryan. All right. I'm going to give Z a star there. He's functioning. Look at that. Slot to four. Yeah, good. Steve, Mr. Pure Man. <laughs> you learned that play from John Vitor, didn't you? Vitorization. All right. Five, two. Okay. Prime versus Prime, and Ron has an edge because of that dilly builder on the two. So Ron should be thinking, I mean, he... He could have missed a double right there, couldn't he, yeah, Steve? Yeah, he could have. I'm considering I, I'm, it. It's a pretty awkward situation. I'm supposed to give a text to, uh, to Z about this time. He wanted a warning when uh, say, say Mochi's million start start starts at 3 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I might, with, I might even play in that today. Would you like some salsa with your chips, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Salsa with my what? Chips, chips. The Mochi Million chips. Oh. I like that play by Zizzy. Excellent right. roll by Ron. Ooh. Just bring it down. Yeah, Be that patient. Double four stopped the cube for sure, so you can't come out. All right. Oh, yeah, an excellent! Uh, oh, look at that! Shot. I think it starts March twenty-nine, Joe or so. The next uh, Vegas tournament is a little bit earlier next year. I think Rod, uh, Rory is trying to dodge some of those European tournaments. Oh, pops out! Oh, baby! For you sure. can't just sit there, right? You sixes cannot, sixes yeah. do not grow on trees. You don't have to like it; you just have to do it. No, they grow underground like peanuts. Uh oh, if he cubes, this would be like the easiest take of all time. <laughs> Which means that the Denna can't possibly Surpa pass. Surpassing the previous easiest <laughs> take, of, take all of all time. Sur surpassing. Just kidding with you, Neil. Well, that's one thing I've learned. Just because your opponent has misjudged the position and passed an easy take or taken. Taking a very poor take does not mean he's going to do the same mistake next game. Yeah, Most okay. of these mistakes are due to just gross misjudgments. Double aces. All right. Leave do a you hit of... loose or you switch points, oh, no, Steve? You hit, loose. hit loose. Hit loose, play eight to six. and then... How bad could it be to not leave? Ooh, oh, that would oh, be no. interesting. Not that bad. Play eight to six and call it a day, as Stick would say. It's not bad if you if you're gonna get hit, get hit one off the prime, but, well, the one problem, offset the from the prime. Is, the problem is when you go to the two point. But okay. how bad is it to switch points and no, not leave no, any no. shots? This is this is this is close, Ray. If he gets missed, this is close to a win. It's like a, you could double right here. Now you double. Yeah, four away, three away, threes, fours, and fives covered. Sixes jump out. Here comes the cube. Beautiful play. And Zz's right. sorry. Play now he's sorry right. he didn't take that four cube. Now he's faced with a, okay. another pressure situation. Well, one thing about this position, and this is not the easiest take of all time. This oh, that's right, true. Ray. As opposed to the that's, other one. That's why we pay you the big bucks that's for good. analysis. You know? That's good pressure right there. I think Zidane's going to pass. If you pass the last one, I think he's going to pass this one. I think he's going to pass this one, too. No, you don't have to pass. I think it is a take. I think he will pass. You think it's take? Okay, good. Yeah. Two back well, behind the be five. Closer. Prime. Hey, look. Here's the deal. And they've been saying this for years. Prime versus prime games are all takes. Okay? And uh, Like Sam, this is the easiest take of the last five minutes. <laughs> good one, Bill. <laughs> he can get a six prime, but you don't necessarily... Uh, have to come in and start cracking and you're not going to crack what, for a what, long no time. double 146 it's no double okay. double pass 1000 what does that mean 
Got the score right. So it's right on the pass. Right. You got to take Neil. Huh? No. Get the score right on that. I don't care. That. I don't know. That's it. That Who is that? That's Check a guy the that's been transcribing the whole time. Where's uh, Martin Howe? Scotty K. Let yeah, give us the answer. Come on, Scotty. Oh, look, ZZ's down to three minutes. He had 15 when he started that yeah. other. Or, or pass, 10 or pass is 9.20. So this is the easiest take of all time. <laughs> the other one was 8.9. Well, you think, you think double take is 9.20, right? This is no double. That I'm confused with these numbers. What What is, what is uh, everybody saying? How much? And how much uh, prime versus prime? Okay, good take, take, good take. Scott, it was a take. Oh, oh, oh! That's not exactly gin. Oh, he's got the good two six. The, the right bar. play is to leave a two six from the bar. As hard to believe as that might be. Tara, I think I think he's leaving a two six from the bar. However he plays. Wait, my phone's ringing, and Z wants me to come in and take a shake for him. <laughs> I just got a text from his mom. So. Uh, phone a friend. <laughs> he's he's used up one of his helps. All right, Ryan got that okay. part right. Ryan seven five of course. Oh, he didn't leave the two oh, six. Oh no. He folded up like two, a cheap pocket knife. Two builders instead of four. You can't do that. Yeah. I know what he's thinking is now he's got to now he's got to leave a direct shot. No, he doesn't. No, he okay. Does. Well, that was a pretty good <laughs> roll, but two, two, one gets to the edge. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down, boys. Four, one primer. Oh, huge shake coming up. Shake of the match for Ron Wertheim. Well, does Results. he even want to come in? I think yes. so. Yeah, because yeah. safety the checkers too. This yeah, is it. Know. Ronald yeah, can win that. the tournament with a six here. He didn't roll it. Oh, oh. Now fives are going to be bad. But the rest of the numbers work. Two Ron? Six, fours and sixes. Did you hear him when we said it was no double? <laughs> <laughs> but he put the pressure. Oh, yeah. Hey, why is Ron? Look at Ron's time's down to 55 seconds. I didn't notice that. One. Was was that a good shake? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh, look at this banana split. Got to pop him. How are you going to do that with 50 seconds? Really? I guess the aces are duplicated. Okay. Whoa! Is that any good? Oh, it's not exactly safe. He'll take oh, it. Spanky. He could spank him. Wow. Wow is right. I, I think you got to come out. I think you got to come out. I come out. I come out and play it too. I agree. Well, what if you hit him off the ace point and he needs a one and well, a six? He gets a one. He's probably going to win, and you, you still haven't gotten out. Dustin Knoll hits on the ace. Hussein hits on the ace. Two. Yeah, there's good guys. <clears throat> Man, have we got some? Well, excitement. let's see. If he, if he <laughs> only. Le wow. Wow. This is one of the most exciting matches I have ever seen. Going to get more exciting in time pressure. Exactly. Well, it, exactly. Yeah, Z's down to two minutes, and Ron is under a minute. Hey, Ray, could they both time out at the exact same time? Uh, no. no, because only one clock runs at a time. Good answer. Whoa. Hey. The all-time leader of the ABT says this is him. Okay, Martin, tell us what's the best play according to XG. There it is. Huge. Some rolls are Trencher. better than others. Whoa. Take of the tournament. Wow. And he's going to still have one shot at uh, the Denix last checker. 
Amazing shake. Hope he doesn't time out. 24, 18, 9, 7, correct oh, by my a mile. Goodness. What do I know about this game? Yeah. Close the board. Wow. Gammon's probably more than 50%. It's a higher percentage if you hit. I know that. Now. Now he's just now it's probably like fight to save the G. Still probably 35% Gammon's. It was oh, the correct play. Wow. That was the correct play. Looks like Zdenek's going to save the Gammon. It'll be uh, Ron three away and Zdenek... Two no, Ron will be two away. Zidane will be three and look away. At those clocks, but Ron's boys got four, and like less than a minute left. B five fo. Look at those clocks. Oh man, everybody's getting their money's worth here. I predict that they're Ooh. going to oh. use. The... Oh, they're like going to no both take a restroom break after this because that game scared the out of them. <laughs> Bleeped himself. Good job, right? Six two. That's the prediction. I usually. Oh. Okay. What a double sixes Ron rolled. B five fo. Yeah, that was okay. Okay, no gammon, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Nice play. Jesus Christ, folks. Okay. Forty nine point nine seconds to a minute and forty one seconds. Well, well you know that. Deal. <laughs> that double might have been influenced by Ron's time. I hadn't noticed that he was down. So even though it was a small no double, um, plus that, uh, that's a hard one to take. Some people would have passed that. Wow, this is amazing. Great match. Okay, here we go. So Ron just wants to win a two-point uh, yeah, undoubled gammon. Possibly double if he's reasonably so, had uh, a holding game or race. So he should be making points then. So what are our, our cube considerations here, Steve? <laughs> oh, I mean, like a, if, if Zdenek has any gammon chance whatsoever, then he's going to double. And But that's not the game, the direction this game is going. No. Four or six from the bar. The, oh, I might slot. He's pumping checkers in the outfield just like XG would. Oh, look here. See that? You don't always get hit. Very good. You're activating the guys' free game. Okay, 10 point. Good yep, shot. 10 point. Call it a day. Go to the eight. Absolutely. So, you're, you're getting, you don't mind squatting under. Let's go. Six. Whoa. Excellent shake. Jailbreak. 6 4. Does he hit? Three lines makes the five. Yeah. Oh, this could get to a, a holding position. This, this could get to a holding position where Ron would have a kind of. If Dennis looks double. similar to the other one he doubled. This is uh, five on the uh, 138. Because uh, Z's take point is going to be 25%, right? 15 to 138, 23, 16 pins. And holding games are all right around 25%, so depending on the race. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. So Ron should probably have a double after this roll. Yeah, yeah he might. What's the race? 93, 40, 40, 90, <clears throat> 93, <clears throat> 42, 17, And he can't sit there and think and count it. 25. He's got a roll. He should have just right, doubled. But yeah, see, he the thing is... Sure. He can right. he can still double. He can still double here. But and with his time situation, he should want to send it. You no, know, this and is, take this that is, out of the equation. Yeah, he's yeah, that really was, shaky, nervous. You're I absolutely think right, Ray. He's worried about the time. Yeah. Just get that out of there. But I mean, you shouldn't it, let yourself get this short in the first place. <laughs> now he should yeah. he just, clear the ten point and then send the cube on the next shake. And don't, he's wasting well, time. Zing. He's playing uh, chopsticks on the piano. You don't have to count it. He's got two back and you got none. And then send the cube so you don't have to worry about the stupid clock anymore. Let 42, him do it. 82, 90, 97, 30, 
44, 74, it's a monster 82. cube. This is a pass. It's 15 I think. pips. Now it's 20. 20 pips minus whatever ZZ rolls. Yeah. I understand, but he's poor guy's got down to 30. 13 pips. Double, you know. He doesn't under. He, that's, if he's got a weakness, it's a match equities. Because he doesn't play it as much as all of us. Oh, see? Oh, no, he's back in the is. game here. And that's going to be 40, 50, 60, 70, 70, 70 now he's not gonna send 55, it 60, 70, 69. He didn't 69. send it before. I like Craig Anderson's term, uh, term that mm. uh, Ron was bleeding equity. Bleeding. Sixty, forty, fifty, fours. Nice non-playing set. Forty-four. Oh. Man. <clears throat> But he still could. I mean, but he's still going to have to play another game then. With 35 seconds in the finals of the Vegas, I don't think I want to. Uh-oh. 10. 10. 27. 10. Well, you're down four pips as, as black. He should double, though. That's a double. He could miss that four. He should double. 23. It was a double last turn. But they're both short on time. You can't, you know, it's just hard to do. El Paso. El Paso? Pasadena, I think. Pascagoula. <laughs> you get a double last goal, Neil? Yes. Let me see Z's going to wait. Until it's under one minute, he so wants that it's fair. He wants to even up the time to make it. Yeah, that would just make it fair. Know, make it fair. Oh, he's oh. cheating. Oh, oh. Hey, Ron took it. If he well, says, if you're gonna take it, better to game, take it right I away. Match. One more set of sixes, and I ought to do it. Okay, big roll. Ron needs a six here. Huge. He rolls a six. He's just about on his way to the championship. Uh oh. Zizzy with an ace or three will miss. Needs fours or better. If he rolls a three. Whoa, oh, double threes. Oh. oh. Now he's down to about 22% here. Okay, this is the shake of the tournament Two here. No, any, any double. Any double. Yeah. Some numbers are better than others. Oh, oh. congratulations to Ronald Wertheim. His wow. first ABT championship. Congratulations. It was a to... another second place, but a fine showing beat a lot of tough players along the way. <laughs> wow. What a match, folks. And this is just the warm-up for the Matt Congar Kit Woolsey Masters final. Writing. Wow. <laughs> What's the what was your final there, Martin, if you don't mind on the PRs? Three nine to three five? Wow. Ron missed a bunch of doubles that last game. Man. Oh. Well, that was a tough one. That was those a guys. really tough one. I think that that uh, that pass on that. Prime versus hey, prime game. Ron that's gonna, he, that's uh, gonna be uh, out of there. Yeah, let me get That's up. gonna be a nightmare. Here. 407 424. Okay. Ron. Uh, or, uh, ZZ. 407 424. What? Best game. What's that? What hey, Ron. Come here, babe. Ron. Ron. Okay. Ron. Hey, Ron. Come here. Come over here and sit down on this side for a second, oh. if you would. Thank you. Right. And we've got the uh, Las Vegas Open champion, Ron Wordheim, right here. What a match. I'm going to lean into my mic, if you would. Sure. What a match, uh, 
could it get any tighter, any more stressful, any more tenseful? No. <laughs> and with, with, with no time? Right, no time. That kind of, in a way, you know, I just did what I... <laughs> instinctively. Instinctively, yeah, rather than... Well, because and, it was uh, not a complicated game, the last game. Yeah. Just a race. And, and I you, mean, if it were a money game, I probably had a double and a drop. Wow. But uh, and I know that the take point is 25%, but I could see that he was a noble to, <laughs> to drop. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, he, you know, you you sent two of those in a row to him where there's yes. those huge I takes, and he let the first one go. I was surprised he let the first one go. The second one was a huge take, too? I wasn't sure. Oh, they were both around 900 takes. Okay. So, uh, But they were doubles. They were, one of, they were thin no doubles. Thin no doubles. I mean, 03, 04, 05 sort okay. of stuff, and like 900 takes on both of them. Yeah, I know he, do, you know. Because he doesn't want to take a big volatile. Yeah, like right, right. So, uh, well, that's so is, a little uh, psychology. This is exciting. You got to be just thrilled. Oh, yeah. And uh, I mean, not only is it a, I mean, you won the tournament, which is a big thing, but you won the tournament against Zdenek one, one of the best players, players in the world. And he's a very nice guy. He's a, a ex extremely. Uh, Extremely nice, nice young man. Young man yes. Yeah, very obviously very well uh, brought up. Well, I understand it, that his mother is also an open club. His mother's club. a very good player. She was watching. Uh, I am sure. Several <laughs> of us know her. Uh, Hold so, on one second. Bill. Okay, that's your fan club calling. <laughs> All right, but uh, well, that's just that's thrilling. I'm uh, I'm happy for you. Now you're gonna. Well, you've only played in Vegas or recently. ADT recently, huh? Yeah. Well, you're gonna uh, you're gonna the, have to spread in, your spread your wings. Here. I'm gonna try and convince my wife it shouldn't be that hard because I'd like to make it to your tournament in uh, February. It's in February, Super Bowl weekend. Super so, Bowl weekend. Yeah, February eight to uh, twelve. Are there rooms still available? Yes, sir. Rooms still available and. Uh, We'd like to see you there. I would like to be there. Okay. I uh, we do have a, I do have a nephew in Austin. I, that's only about an hour and a half. Yeah, about an hour away. Yeah. Well. And that was uh, as you can see right here. You played four two four. Really. And uh, I'm pleased with that. And uh, Z played four oh seven with really? that big with that big. Uh, really. Uh, error nine hundred so, error. So I got a little lucky there. That's. The, Above as usual. Oh yeah, but uh, four two four is it, quite. Uh, it's I'm very happy. With very that. good. Yeah. Very good play. So, uh, well, just congratulations, man. Thank you. I, I can Thank only you imagine so how uh, thrilling and yeah, how late in life. I'm going to be seventy in January. Yeah, I was seventy in uh, August. Uh, August. Uh, so, uh, well, well that's never, I'll never catch you. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, thank you so much for thank spending you. some time with us, and sure. congratulations. I'm going to step away for just a few minutes, but very shortly we've got the Matt Congar Kit Woolsey Masters Final. Uh, to answer somebody's question, uh, Dennis Culpepper won the uh, Jeffrey Parker board. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Actually, Bill, do you remember the last game? I don't recall. I don't recall, yeah. I don't recall them saying, saying that. I don't recall them doing I didn't say oh, okay. I 
Your I have to get to guys who also be are funnels. Yes. But yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Work you. The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app, Star Membership, High Analysis, Blunder Database, Private Games, Coin Games, Rating Games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market, available on Amazon. Links in the description below.
Anything more exciting? Sit down. I'm ready. Oh. Okay, boys and girls. We uh, Kit and Matt are fixing to start up in the Masters final. I don't know that, Dimitri, about the compensation. I'll I'll check. I, I don't know. Well, it is. They're doing a three-way uh, equitable deal, so Matt had to play the extra match. Matt won. So if Kit wins, he's first. Matt's second. Jeff is third. If Kit loses, Kit is third place. Matt's first place, and Jeff is second place. Oh man, that was uh that'll wear you out. That was amazing. Okay, sports fans. Here we are. Last match of the week. The uh, final of the Masters jackpot, Kit Woolsey, Matt Congar. Now, this they played down to three positions, three players. Matt had to beat Jeff Hall in the semifinal. Kit got a bye to the final. But then the way that this is equitably resolved, if Kit wins, Kit gets first place. Matt gets second place. Jeff gets third place. If Matt wins... Matt wins first place, Jeff Hall gets second place, and Kit gets third place. So Kit, due to the fact that he got the buy, either gets first place or third place. So here we go, folks. 3-1 for Matt Congar is on the bottom playing black. Kit is at the top of the screen playing white. 15-point match. If it's anything like the match we just had, I don't know that I can survive. That was, uh, what, two, three hours, two hours, 45 minutes of total intense excitement. Daniel, will you not play? It, I can't talk. The, uh, Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see. Kit's got the bit of an early advantage. They both escaped a checker. Three, two, four, Kit. What's he want to do with this? I might uh, step up to the 22 and put the spare on the 7, but he's going to play 2 down. I'll defer to his better judgment. Ace, deuce. Matt makes the the four. Fours for Kit. That's two point and four point. So uh, let's see what happens. Depending on what Matt does here, I'm. I'm thinking this might be a cube, but Kit thinks otherwise. Rolls on. What's that? A six um, boxes. Okay, so now Okay, now this is going to be interesting. Let's see if, if Matt Matt dances. So now it's probably a play on, huh? 
Got two more checkers he can pick up. He's got all two fives, so he's going to pick one of them up. Then what's he do with the other five? Or with the five? No way to really uh, diversify his builders anymore. Okay. Okay, Rory's making the announcements of the winners in there. So congratulations again to Ron Wertheim. Superb performance against one of the top players in the world. So all the credit in the world to, uh, to Ronald. Okay, let's see. The kit obviously playing on for the G here, which is most likely. That's two checkers in the air for uh, for MCG. You can see, and I never did point it out on the last game, but I'll point it out on this game. He's looking at trophies in there. Did he get his? Ronald went in there. Okay. And um, at the end of the table that Kit and Matt are playing on are the uh, trophies that they are playing for. So, uh, anyway, let's see. Matt's going to get G'd here, but at least it's a center cube. It got too good too early to, uh, to get a cube in. So he's just going to collect, uh, in all likelihood, two points here. Now for a, Tara, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but for a uh, ABT tournament that we have streamed or that we were even aware of, we hit right at 500 viewers. That's absolutely uh, a record. Just not even close. So uh, thank, thanks to everyone. A lot of people saw it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people... We'll watch the uh, recording on YouTube at, at their leisure when they have the opportunity, but that was a classic. That was a classic. And, um, you know, I'm sure Zdenek would have preferred to play closer to his normal <laughs> average. Not that he played poorly by any means. He had... Uh, he played 407, but he had that one huge error, which blew the PR up. Without that, I suspect he might have been around the two, certainly maybe under two. And um, and Ron played 424, which was, you know, congratulations. They're uh, in these uh, conditions, you know, a major final. You're playing one of the top players in the world. You're playing it under the camera. Um, you know, congratulations, man. 4.24 in the championship. Now, Matt, he gets the rolls his way early in this game, and uh, maybe he gets too good too early. We'll see. First game, Hussein is, uh, hey, Ray, sit down if you want to. I don't know. Am I? First game, Matt played zero and Kit played zero eighty five, and now this time uh, Matt gets in the early cube. Last game, um, Kit got too good way too early and didn't get a cube in. This time, Matt gets the early advantage and gets the cube in. So, uh, I was telling the Matt viewer, is Cuban. He did prior roll. It was a double by 016. The uh, 016, that's pretty close. Pretty close. Those are big takes. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. Uh, if you're just joining us, you missed the match of the century. 
<laughs> before I told the viewers here, Ray, if we, if this match, uh, even approaches that level of excitement and intensity, they're in for a treat. Oh man. Oh, I think I would say that in this match, it's less likely to be affected by nerves. Yeah, and they're probably more closely matched in perhaps skill levels than what might have at least been perceived to be the case in the last game. And, and Ron, to his credit, Ronald made some... He put the pressure on. Really big pressure cubes. Uh-huh. Um, and it... Well, I mean... No, I, no Z, uh, GG, ZZ lost 15-13 from a 13-12 lead. He got gammoned on a two-cube on the last game. And... Uh, well, he was up 11-9 when he passed a big take, though, right? Yeah, I guess it was. I couldn't, and on a four I couldn't, cube, I couldn't, I couldn't would remember. Would have put him right out. So I couldn't remember the uh, exact score of that first pass, but he got two cubes sent to him that uh, for nine hundred takes, and uh, he he incorrectly passed the first one. He correctly took the second one and got gammoned off of it. The match. Yeah, the first one was a redouble, and those are a little tougher, you know? Yeah. And you got the lead and all that kind of stuff, and so One it's of okay. the most uh, amazing matches you'll ever see, you should go back and uh, and watch it, GG, if you uh, have the opportunity. We had an all-time viewing record for a U.S. tournament. Oh, really? Yeah. 500, right at 500 viewers. 500 Simultaneous people. viewers, you know. I mean, we'll hit thousands and thousands of views over the next few days. But You're going to become famous, Bill. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Here and at other tournaments that we go to, I'll, I'll have uh, people just walk up to him. I know you. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a weird deal. And uh, they'll come up, hi, I'm so-and-so and i'm like have we met i i don't uh -huh. sorry i don't recall your name oh no i just watched the videos <laughs> so it's uh, yeah i've gotten caught a few favorable comments about that stuff too so that yeah it's kind of neat and uh it's heartwarming it is heartwarming uh oh look at this this is warming up matt's heart this is warming up with what He's, okay, now what do I do? Kit's got what, six back, and Matt has. Uh, and this again, once again, four is back. Neil's pet peeve when the other guy can roll doubles from the bar. But Kit's. That's lying. right, Mickey. You're you're correct. It was uh, he didn't get gammoned. He recubed in the bear off and lost. It's been forgot. a long time on that play. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot I had two on the roof. I, I said I only had one on the roof. <laughs> Matt debating his options here. Might have to look into getting in the mochi millions. Go do it if you want to. I'll coast along here. All right. I'll talk to him, but we got a dinner reservation. The restaurant's supposed to be pretty spectacular. Where are you going? A uh, place in the Aria, uh, Carbone or something like that. It's mm. an Italian place. And Steve Babioff made reservations a year ago. Something seven wow. months. Who made the reservation? Steve. Steve Sachs. Abby off. Oh, okay. Uh, well, once this own Italian restaurant, they are yeah. Okay. After we uh, finish this match, Tar and I have to break it all down and pack it tonight. Okay. The, the room is uh, 
claimed tomorrow for something else. So we have to get it all out of here tonight. All right, I'm going to take a little walk. I'll see okay, you later. Ray, good luck with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have to have to get into it here. This is like, uh, and no offense to Matt or Kit, but this is like, you know, being some uh, just regular musicians or something, and Dell or Michael Jackson or Prince or somebody just opened for you. <laughs> it's kind of a, <laughs> you know. Who is it? Uh, hey, Jeff Hall I'm, from. I'm playing in the market. Ah, okay. Very nice. Oh, okay. So, uh, thank you, Mickey. Nice, kind words. We've uh, we've done a lot of streaming this weekend. Our our next, uh, and I'll talk over their play here briefly. We've got uh, a number of upcoming events. Cal State Championship in three weeks in uh, Los Angeles. Lynn Ehrlich's uh, New York Metro in January. Our tournament in San Antonio in February. And then Jeff Proctor's Atlanta Classic in March. Uh, we will uh, be attending New York. We're not working. It's going to be a rest and relaxation, socializing and playing for a change. First time or I've gotten to play in a live tournament in a very long time, so we're looking forward to that. And then in our tournament in San Antonio, uh, we're looking forward to a, a big crowd. We're doing uh, hosting also the UBC USA Championship. And as we did in February 22 this year, we will do next year. February 23, a, a quad stream. Nobody else has ever done four live streams simultaneously. So we'll be doing that once again. And then, of course, we'll be at Jeff Proctor's Atlanta Classic uh, tournament, providing the streaming and commentary and what have you on a dual stream, much as what we've done here. So um, everybody support your favorite tournament. Come out and... Uh, Meet us and see us, and we'll try to catch up with old friends and meet new friends. So uh, we're always very accessible and personable. So um, come say hello. Okay, so this was early. Matt had a, an early advantage with get with six checkers back but it, it's kind of um, balanced out somewhat here kind of a mutual holding game of sorts that other match starting we got the uh, intermediate jackpot final on stream two so just starting or just started <laughs> And uh, she's going to give me the names and information here in a moment. But that's on the stream two, which is on youtube.com forward slash AP live. Here we're streaming on uh, Bagham and Galaxy's channel, and we certainly appreciate their support of the tournament by letting us use their YouTube channel and by their provision of two boards that we've been streaming on. One is a earth board here on, on this table and the other table is a um, Bagman World Championship tournament board. <laughs> yeah, we've heard uh, Tarva saying uh, everyone's enjoyed playing on these Galaxy boards. She's heard many compliments in the in the playing room. So, uh, 
Well, if someone else has done six streams, I'll uh, congratulate them. Although uh, Dimitri says they've done it in Russia, but it's not the same quality. But uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, kudos to them because it's. Uh, <laughs> you don't go to six. Star says we'll have to go to eight. So we're going to have to buy a moving van if we do. So, ooh, pardon. Uh, oh, actually, we have to clear the room tonight, so we'll get everything back to our room. Uh, we'll repack tomorrow. We're actually flying home Tuesday. So we'll have uh, tomorrow to sleep in a little bit dying well a little bit and get all the bags uh, appropriately packed <laughs> we're traveling instead of six bags we only have five bags this time but we did have four bags with 70 pound weight limit so uh, we're uh, even had a higher weight capacity than what we typically have <laughs> Hmm, pardon me. Game goes on. <laughs> For a while. <laughs> Again, we've got... I'm not sure who's behind and who's ahead in this... This game. Matt had the... Early... Definite advantage. Which... Merited the cube on his behalf. But it's... Uh, it's kind of gone to the wayside. Okay, on the, uh, what is this? Intermediate jackpot final is on stream two. Tigran Avanasian, who was also the winner of the intermediate ABT tournament, playing in the intermediate jackpot final. He's up seven to one over Jack Cohen. So uh, that's over on stream two, the nine point match. They're playing on a two cube. Tigran leads seven to one, so this could be the match. Yeah, I think that would be the. These are the last two matches of the of the week, as far as we're concerned. It may be the last two matches. Period. I don't know if there's any. Well, there's an after tournament, but we're uh, we're not going to get involved in that. We got to pack. We got to clean the room. We gotta get some sleep tonight. <laughs> Everybody gets a midpoint. Oh, ho, ho. There's the Mr. Millions, Mochi Millions, wandering in out the door behind us. I don't know. Some other variations. <laughs> Yeah, they know each other well, having a good time. That's the way it should be. And that's, uh, I can say, too, it was interesting. Uh, Ron and uh, Zdenek had a great match, well played. Zdenek probably would not say that he played well, but most of us would uh, be overjoyed with his 4.07. But uh, both of them... You know, great uh, competitors and very nice people. Uh, it was a great match. <laughs> miss everything, my God, he hits two. It says miss everything. The guy's lying. Sorry? <laughs> four, two, four. Zdenek would have probably been two or under, except for that one 900 pass error. But uh, 424 407 was uh, a very quality play, I think, on both sides. Well, they just keep pounding away at each other here. This is uh, one of those games from hell that probably somebody ultimately is going to. Pay the price for. 
I'll get to recirculate some checkers. Well, it was funny at one time. Now I know who's going it to had <laughs> six back, and then he got it down to like two back, and now he's now he's back to seven back. And and Matt has followed a similar path. Okay, not so good. <laughs> not terrible. Pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> Do you make it? I guess there's a chance. Uh, that's probably right. And there's some real cracking chances in Kit's future, perhaps, which uh, Matt would be more than happy to allow him to do. Ooh, 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 pardon me. We've, uh, yeah, we again talk over the play a little bit, but it's been a great week of backgammon. Everybody owes uh, Rory Pascar uh, our appreciation. A lot of work to put on tournaments like this. We know it well. So, uh, Thank you to Rory for all he's my, my board's bigger than yours, the done with I his see. tournaments and for backgammon. And uh, again, I'd thank uh, Galaxy for their sponsorship. I'd like to thank, uh, you know, we've had tremendous participation by uh, any number of uh, volunteer commentators among the uh, – Top players at this tournament. We've had Mochi and Zdenik and did Jeff ever talk? I don't know. He's right behind me. I, guess. Okay. I think he ever made it. But you know, and then there's Kit and Ray and Dennis and Steve and okay. Matt. I said Zdenik and uh, Mochi. Stick stopped by. We had a had a stick appearance. So uh, thank you to all of them. For their contributions. Okay, come on back out if you if they're if we're here, you can sit down. Have you started yet? I don't know. If you get a minute or two, even before that, I'll introduce you to the crowd. You know. Got a bit of a hokey voice. Oh, sir. Just uh, want to take a minute here. He's going to go play in the Mochi Millions in a second, but this is. Jeff Hall here from the UK, and uh, as I understand, you're the chairman of the UK BGF. Yeah. And um, Mochi, he's going to uh, start. But okay. this is Jeff Hall. <laughs> Hopefully, Thanks, he'll be back doing a little commentary later. But just uh, y'all yeah. can put a face with a name. Hey, this looks like a pretty tricky uh, game to try and commentate on. Oh, this has been a crazy game. Wow. I, <laughs> this I is something like you would play. Huh? I, honestly, I don't. I don't play those sort of games voluntarily, believe me. <laughs> Actually, I was really surprised because XG, that last back game I had yesterday yeah. against Matt, yeah. XG had it, uh, played a 1.6. Look so out! Sort of I just didn't that, you know. Yeah, that, that one game. But that's, normally, that's... if you can get less than double figures in that. In a back game, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, good luck and hopefully I may, well, hopefully I won't see you later because it means I'll be getting through. <laughs> But uh, thanks for all your support. Terrific setup. Okay, and, great. Uh, I must finally just say hello to the Woo and to the Birmingham Backgammon Club. But thanks, great for your support yesterday. And it was a close match, and I really uh, appreciate it. There you go. And member of the Worcester Backgammon League. Yes, Worcester. Very, Worcester. Worcester. The Woo, as we like to oh, call it. Oh, the Woo. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yeah. We'll, right. we'll get to your Mochi Millions, and yes, we'll see you a bit later. All right. Take care. And then the uh, and the intermediate jackpot final, Tigran Avenisian beat Jack Cohen nine to one. Tigran won the intermediate jackpot and the intermediate division, and now the, one of the perhaps the best player who has not yet commented this weekend is uh, Frank Raposa. So uh, welcome, Frank. Thanks, Bill. I actually play uh, MCG in the last chance final, so. I'm Waiting for this to finish. Ah, so you're, you're stuck waiting on MCG, huh? Well, if this is anything um, like the last match. <laughs> Who was the last match? The, 
Zdeniak oh, oh, and oh, uh, Ron right. Wertheim final, yeah, I, which I was about the... three hours oh, <laughs> of, it, of yeah. incredible intensity. But if this one's anything like that, one, you're going to enjoy it, and secondly, you're going to be here a while. Because... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 15 points will be here a while anyways. So, uh, What's happening here, Matt? Is... There's some of your boys, Finneran and Brandon, and some of them are saying hello to you. So. Oh, cool. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Tara reminds us uh, Ed O'Loughlin is uh, having some medical problems, apparently, and couldn't make the, the tournament. He rarely misses, so uh, hopefully uh, he's doing well. And if he's watching, we're all saying hello to Ed and best wishes in recovery. So, Yeah, hope you feel better, Ed. So I'm um, taking the red eye back to Virginia tonight. So then I go straight into work, then from work to more backgammon. <laughs> the oh, Monday well. nightclub I run. So <laughs> can't get enough of this. Okay. Not much sleep. Well, can you sleep on the plane? Hopefully. It's Spirit Airlines, so yeah, oh, well, I'm that's, not expecting much. That's uh, <laughs> testing. <laughs> okay, well, this is finally, they each had at various times six and seven checkers back, but it's finally kind of taken some form. And uh, Matt might realize some benefit from his his early cube when he had a an advantage. So it's funny. No matter how crazy these games are, they end up looking kind of normal towards the end. Ultimately, they, yeah. They just regress to a certain pattern. And Kit really, I mean, he's got a two four game. So he and with spares, so he's got all the timing in the world. If worried to get a shot. And, right. Yeah, the timing is great and. White can expect to remake his six point here. Two four. Or... You don't want to roll like a double four. Well, that's he's only got the one five, so then look for the three, I guess. Huh? Well, there were two fives actually. But... Is that the right play here? I don't know. I was thinking he might go to the three point. This is here. He. This is the something oh, illegal here. That looks better than. Yeah. I, I think that's legal and correct. You didn't have much luck this weekend or week until until today. It sounds right. like. Well, hmm? I got to the um, cashing round of the main, lost. Cashing round of the consolation, lost. So then I had to play Neil Kazaros in the. Cashing round to the last. Now, are they chance, play, so. paying one pay, place or two um, in the last chance? Two, so I think. So you have cash. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Yep. I had a fun match against Neil. So who do you, oh, you're playing MCG in the final. Jeez. Tough road. Oh, yeah. There's, <laughs> Matt there's, in the semifinal. There's, there's, <laughs> there no, neat. no easy draws here for sure. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how does Matt bring this home? Well, Kit missed a double shot earlier, but that may may not cost him too much because he's not quite ready to hit anyways. To respond to Mr. Fenneran, I have no idea if they hedged. Um, I know that uh, Wertheim had already won the side pool, so he was up 3K to start with. And they were playing. The winner was playing for like nine, nine, nine k to the win, and four or five to the loser. So I, I don't know. I, I suspect they didn't hedge, but I don't know that. This is one of the higher entry fee tournaments. Maybe the highest. In the States, first, yeah. Yeah, yeah, amongst ABT events. Oh, oh I'm sorry, 6-3. Yeah. We've got these non-glare dice of ours, which work very fine, except in very peculiar circumstances. And that quadrant on this one table is one of those circumstances, so. Either slot or cover. Um, and... 
But it's a little odd. It looked like Matt could have played that one one safely, but chose to leave the the uh, shot yeah. on the bar, which maybe he was willing to see if uh, you know if Kit rolled a five, was he willing yeah. to give it up? Uh, yeah, I was just thinking that that does create a very tough decision. Do you break the two point to hit with the five because it's committal? Kind of give up on the two four back game if you do hit. So six threes cover. Yeah, that's that is the most covers it looks like. Bad mess. Um, and you redouble. And if he can make that, then you're uh, a big favorite too. Big um, favorite then. So is that a market loser? Probably yes. Probably. I don't know. I I, I might have. I might have considered recubing there. I, I would have counted up the covers, but not sure. Well, it's no, uh, yes, yeah, I was going to say there's no future here to gammon him probably or anything. Just go ahead and cash it. Yeah, and... closing the six point definitely um, overshoots the market. I don't think you can take here. Okay, uh, so. Uh... Not saying I would have redoubled. I would have thought about it. Um, I'll maybe. Yeah. So maybe Kit, Kit has uh, opened up a four-zero <laughs> early lead. And did you have to play? Uh, I don't recall. Did you ever play ZZ? Uh, yeah, yeah. He beat me in the round of eight in the main. Okay, that's we had right. A, we had a fun match there. Well, that's right. I recall. That's the one we kind of screwed up and didn't get y'all on the stream. Well, I, I think there were already some other. Yeah, big, we big didn't think y'all were going to play. That early, that quickly, and right before the dinner break. Yeah, so. I think we started at five and just played yeah. through the dinner break. And that ended up like DMP, or you lost two away, four away? Uh, it was four away, two away. Um, it was close. We had a real volatile eight cube. No. Uh, yeah, that guy's the real deal, and it's uh, yeah. he, he's a very good player. <laughs> Yeah, he he uh, made a couple of plays today, and, and this was true throughout the week. But you know, at times when Neil or Steve or Ray were commentating, and they're both they're all like, "Wow, <laughs> you know, we, we didn't even, <laughs> we didn't even think of that or see that," you know. Yeah, he made a few plays that I didn't even consider, but as soon as he played them, like, "Uh oh, this is probably right." <laughs> <clears throat> and he plays so quickly too you know he, he can play cl quickly when he needs to and take his time when he needs and, and to. save his time yeah to he, have it when he needs it yeah he, he's he doesn't use his clock time like mochi yeah <laughs> hey who am i to argue with either of these guys <laughs> mm -hmm. they had that extremely complicated second game which has got them Matt's playing 378 and Kit 458. So high for both of them, perhaps. But that was a extremely complicated game. Was it a back game? Or a... Of sorts. Again, at both at various times, each one of them had seven checkers back. You know, so oh, it's one of those kind yeah, of I, I think... permutations where there are a million permutations of ends of times during the match. And it's just. Uh, and nobody plays those perfectly. And I'm convinced that if you do play well according to XG in those positions, you just happen to be making the same mistakes as XG. So, <laughs> so there's a certain amount of randomness to that. That's a... Ian Terry is back from picking up his trophy or whatever. Man, did you miss the end of a match, son? You might have been watching it on your phone in the car, but... Okay, so it's five, Hopefully not three. while driving. Well, you could maybe be listening to it on the phone in the car. Making both those Make points. points. Three, three prime doesn't block anything anyways. Or that. That's okay. Just not unreasonable, I guess. Can't <laughs> get out. 
So he's going to slot to two and something. Kind of like uh, shifting closer to the mid because you get more safety in numbers. Huge improvement in the board. Go out and make it. Seven's eights. That's a lot of shots. How many? So, uh... I don't know. Hmm? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, but kids still got some work to do to... Oh, yeah, neither of them are close to a cube. It can safety that plot, and it's still no market loss. And it's just two blinks first with the dice. And now, game this is tough to make it work. Saves are six. So the race is still close. Um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I think the race is too close to cube this. Yeah, um, match a little lower count in his home board. Okay, so but, that's 17 pips but of spares offset on the against high points, the yeah. uh, hit against the bar. Yes, yeah, Stick Rice explains this well in his uh, holding game book. You kind of need a racing edge to cube in holding games. Good thing he saved a six. That roll anyway. Okay. So he's so, 17 out of 36 to hit, but he has a blot. Well, board, all, so. no, all sixes either cover it or lift it, so there's no bad six. Now. At the racing edge. Definitely a cube. Three, is it a four, take? Eight, 38, so I, 30, it's, it's, it's worth counting up these numbers that don't safety the blot. I think that's where a lot of the equity comes from. Ray, hey. Look out. Ray Fogerland is let's joined. See if, uh, let's see if we can see some 6-2s from the bar. A 6-2 <laughs> wouldn't be bad here. And that was even a fortuitous roll. Mm-hmm. That was a double take by 152. And According is, to uh, Hussein, who's doing our, uh, who's transcribing this one. Okay, Matt gets off the snide. And what happened, Ray? Did you flush out early in the Mochi Millions, or? No, oh, they're going to have a dinner break between six and seven, and I have to go to dinner at eight. Ah. Uh, and the restaurant we're eating at, apparently, they had to make a reservation six months in advance. So. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> so that would be pretty good. Also probably pretty expensive if they, <laughs> they got Our that kind of demand. At you know? the Aria. It's an Italian restaurant. I'll take a picture of my sausage and send it to you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her about no Italian restaurant at the Aria. It probably cost a fortune, and she'll want to go there. <laughs> I was saying these guys have the uh, misfortune of playing after an opening by... Adele, Prince, and Michael Jackson or something in that first match. <laughs> it's like that. Is it hard to follow? Then? It's hard to follow, you know. All right. Well, at least we got Frank here to tell us when we screw up the analysis. That's good. Didn't you win something, Frank? You got to the finals or something. Um, I'm in the last chance. I play Matt. Waiting on uh, Matt. Oh, he's easy. I had him seven to nothing and three guys closed out. Before I lost. <laughs> Bill could tell you about it. I'm too modest. Let's see. I got to get used to this. Matt's on the bottom and Kit's on the top. All right. Good anchor. Yeah. 
three point is so much better than the two point here. The butterfly mm -hmm. anchor. And Matt had a chance to make his two point. It, it's just so poor in the early game. Uh oh, this will end the game. Unless a miss could be too good. 3-1 might keep it going. A 3 <laughs> might keep it going. That was what well, it was hoping three, for. Maybe four not. Maybe not, but a 3-1 might have. So because if, he is going to so have to. If Matt did not have his 5-point, it would probably be a double pass. It's how much counterplay does having the 5-point give you. And I'm not sure, but I think that's the thing to think about. Oh, Kit didn't even double. Oh, he missed a chance. Is no Matt, double Matt's... by 179. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that answers that. That's the value of the five point there. The five point or the three anchor? I guess we, well, the three anchor from... was worth quite a bit anyway. Well, after, okay. you yeah. know, one yeah. thing I... I'm getting in some respect for Bill now because I commentated on that other match and I'm weary now and you do this all day long <laughs> for four days in a row. Uh, that would be six. Wow. <laughs> Your eyes must be spinning right now. <laughs> That's well, a, lot a of... couple of those days it was 12 or 13 hours straight. Wow. Yeah, that Tuesday night, Mochi and Dennis, three eleven pointers back to back to back, about six hours. I think now, that that is the right play with that too, because the double four is so good. Anyways, you might as well get yeah, three okay. clean builders good, aiming at the bar. Good point. Yes. <clears throat> no, we brought Frankie over here for a reason. Car is only standing over there. I said, "Well, that's our." Hey, that, let's... Our best player that hasn't commentated yet. Need to get him over here. Who's that? Frank. Oh yeah. Um. Let uh. Let's poll the watchers and see who they think is the was the favorite in this match. I got. I have a feeling it'll. Matt would win. Oh, that. going in. All right. Yeah, going in. Who's the favorite? I'm gonna say this. It was a time when I voted for the Giants of Backgammon, and they're doing that right now. And I put Kit at number one. I guess that was because I hadn't beat him in six years or something. But uh, you're thinking uh, Matt's was the favorite going in here? Yeah, I, I would think that he would get more votes. A lot of the people that are watching are European, and I don't know that Kit spends much time over there. Yeah. Well, I think even though he lost in the final, I think uh, Zabdenik put on a very impressive show here for the oh, week yeah. and uh, probably uh, introduced himself much more to the uh, to the American audience. Yeah, that was the first time I met him, and yeah, he's a very nice guy, great player. Yeah, he's really a great player, but the, you know, and it just goes to show you that, and he's really... The emphasis should be on great player, but the pressure got to him on that four cube. You know? And uh, I wish I could tell you that that's never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw they were in time trouble. That does get extremely stressful. Well, he was in time trouble because he had 11 minutes when he started thinking about that cube and seven when he passed it. And uh, he talked himself into passing. Oh, I could have messed it up much quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get okay. any credit for taking a lot of time if you mess up the answer. You know, I went so, uh, and I guess. Was oh, that... wait. Isn't he supposed to make the bar point? Oh, he's running um, out. Um, oh, that's I, an I, interesting I, play. I think that's right. The nine point works really effectively against a three anchor. Okay. And sixes play poor. There you go. Because yeah. it blocks you know, sixes. I forget whether it was a cube decision or a checker play but i once saw four or five years ago in chicago michi playing uh akiko in the like, masters jackpot semifinal or something and he spent eight minutes on a play who did michi spent oh. eight minutes on a play did he get it right i don't remember 
I think that the longer you take on the play, the more likely you are to get it wrong. Because you're fighting something. Yeah, you're uh, right. So, I mean, psychologically speaking, I just believe that. And, and well, it's, it's taking a long time, but it's a complicated decision. So and Z, today, he took a long time. And he probably, if he was playing speed gamma, would have taken that in a half a second. And, um, and he thought about it for four minutes, and he passed. And it was like a huge take. So I well, I think he was, uh, you know, and that made it 11-11, right? It was uh, right. four-way, six-way going into that. And I, and I think, and several people commented, you know, I think ZZ, and it's a it's a short match at that point, but he's a better player, and I think he just thought he could. Uh, so it was win a, it from there, and don't give him the chance to so get you, a big number. You think it was a skill based adjustment? Look yeah, at this. I really think it was. Look at this play that Kent made. I wasn't sure which play would yeah. have the cube out of you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I probably would not have. He's going to, well, this is the tempting play. He's going to tempt Matt into doubling. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's going to let it go. I'm sorry? And he took it. No double by zero zero five. Easy take, says Jerry Tanzi. But he didn't get the two six from the bar. He only got. He'll, the he'll take the two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just because some of those takes are clear doesn't mean it's comfortable. That's right. It's some people might pass that. This could get ugly in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a deuce point. Good point. Now, how do those guys know to position their builders there? That was a pretty bad roll. <laughs> it was. So is this. That didn't get here by missing these shots. I was going to say, did you want to roll the six or the one or get greedy and wait for the one? Yeah, well. Uh, one, one more is good enough. I'd prefer the six just to escape the back checker and not... Roll a bad double four or something. He can always <laughs> go back and get that one later. Oh, cool. Good roll. You will hit loose on the ace point if he comes in on an ace. 6-3. Yeah. Yeah, white really wanted an ace. <laughs> Two. One four. See if Matt doesn't attack here. Yep. Oh, he done attacked. Well, I didn't. Now, that's a, that's an easy three. attack. Oh, that was nice. It's gonna hit loose. Yeah. It's gonna save Kit the gammon. Maybe. Yeah, that three was big. That cut cuts down on a lot of the G's. I'm just, Those were three G's. Good to like. Look out. And this is a type of position where you want to stay alert for clearing numbers to clear the eight instead of safetying. Like if you roll a four three, just don't bring it in automatically. Otherwise, you'll roll a series of fives and regret your previous move. It can be an easy play if the guy's still on the bar, but once he's in, you just have to realize that. Yeah, you pay off to an indirect outfield shot. Um, so this is this is four shots. And is in my imagination. Four I versus kept seeing three. that there's mm. a red spot on that. Is that the laser? What is that on that red checker? Red spot on, on where? The oh, I see it on the four there. Yeah, I, I think I'm on the six. I I leave three shots instead of four because it's. It's not like you have to get oh, so close because right. you can expect to clear it safely next time if you get missed. Oh no! That, um, Don't do that, kid. Yeah, you you want your builders oh, or your Matt. spares in a better spot. Six four. Matt dupes, did that. Dupes a six four. We're gonna have tens now and other stuff later. 
Maybe. I laughed. Tansy said some accidents can still happen. I double I fives never heard them would be an accident, accident before, but uh, yeah, I, that that spare on the two point just looks. Um, uh oh. Uh, yeah, a, a Billy. What is it called? I knew there was a five coming uh -oh. this time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's poor. Wow. So I dupes the five. It. He paid for that other play, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't seem like it, but he did. Matt's been getting away with stuff. He did it with me, as I recall. <laughs> did you contribute in any way? Yes. That's a shot? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I contributed by rolling bad. Okay. So and occasionally worse. you do pay off to 13 instead of 11 if it gets you to a key number. Like if you can go from 6 off to 7 off sometimes. But, um, but unless you're really usually sure. Usually not with the few numbers off. With the few right, number yeah, checkers yeah, off. Yeah, going from like 3 to 4 or 4 to 5. That so un Unless you're real sure, don't mess around and just leave 11. Um, when in doubt. If you make the safest play, it could be wrong, but it's never wrong by much. I, I think you're exactly right. Yeah, he knows it's right. <laughs> then he's he's fighting greed. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is he doing? Oh, he was okay. So he's, he's got a five left. And he's going to take it off. I, I agree. Well, he doesn't, Kit doesn't have the six Ooh, point. And just jumped right into it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, or, now what's the deal? Although there is something to be said for bearing off aggressively to give you slightly more gammons. So that's the other consideration. And Kit didn't have the six point. It's probably close, but who knows? Um, slightly more gammons, slightly more losses. Are you leaving it slotted? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Against a three point board. Against a three point board, why not? Right? Just I'm starting to like I think white. you need to cover or re get another for you re -cube it. No. Yeah. You get to re whip it. Right now? Yep. Really? Um uh, so he's got how many four off? Well, you can't really expect Kit to make a mistake, but uh, it's so, a pass if he covers, well, right? He's leading slightly in the match score. and Oh, okay. One, yeah, that's, uh, an, that's an argument against it. I'll buy that. And, and he's got four off. I okay. think you've got to either cover or get a second direct cover. Um, to... Okay. Uh, he okay. sends it now. I want to seduce Matt into taking this. Uh, I will not be seduced by Kit Woolsey under any circumstances. Yeah, it, I I agree with the take. That was, um, yeah, it was a take, and he took it fast. So that uh, that might be. I think you figured it out right there. And you Frank. probably keep it slotted. It's, yeah, you definitely got to keep it slotted. So what's the right play? Just count up the covers. <laughs> Whatever's the most covers, just count them up. And I don't know it, if that was it. Sixes and twos is not more than fives and threes? Well, it stops two six from the bar. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Let's say it. <laughs> See, that's the important thing is uh, don't get hit with a two six twice. Look at Matt. He gets away with all this yeah. stuff. He took off the extra checker. Got redoubled, took it, and just didn't get closed out, and then hit. I like it. Rebello That's a said, long parlay. Okay, an eight cube. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, th there could be one. And yeah, we may be building well, it. If a uh, kit were to dance here, Matt's going to uh, build a snowman in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So, boys, what do you think, Frank? 
I I'm not a huge fan of that stack. It's of a three rewhip. There. It's a big rewhip. With that four, the only question um, is if it's a t it's like because you're you're only going to get a one single direct at best. That's at best. You may not get that. Yeah. Here we go. Let's it go. Oh, so, oh kid, hit the clock before Matt could lift the cube. <laughs> <laughs> An anti scoop. He didn't want none of that. Too good by two twenty nine. Really? Oh. Too good? <laughs> yes, sir. Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. So the take, if it would, if they would have taken it, must have been worth one point something. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. <laughs> when he only had a three point board, but there's all those cross. But he had four off. He could have picked all up those cross or checker. <laughs> That was a big parlay. Well, not only is it that, but I mean, there's a chance you don't get that boy home and you get hit. You might rather get hit with a with the cube still on the board than with it on. Yeah, I I still think the initial cube was a bit too soon. Yeah, I uh, I gotta agree with your assessment on that, Frank. And Matt took it really fast. It's not like you're gonna scare him. Probably leave the five points slotted here. It doesn't hurt that bad to get hit here. The other option is just making the three point, right? I, I, it's just so tough to improve offensively. Well, what are you, you going to do with the two? Oh, well, this is good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I take a chance to go after the five point. All right. And you got richly rewarded for. Ooh, he, Holy. Maybe it's just better to make the five point than to do that. The hit doesn't do that much for you, does it? So, if you... Well, he'll think about right. it. Maybe he will. I think it's the same logic. If you Like, if your opponent slots his five point, then you roll double aces, then you don't hit because you... I think it falls into that same logic. Well, see, but, but, yeah. but if he doesn't hit here, then uh, kids sixes are duplicated. I I would, I don't know. I kind of like making the five point, but I've been wrong before. Um, it's it's so early. I think, yeah. Um, You'd hit, huh? I think so. Okay. Fair enough. I like how Matt plays. He goes back and forth, and he talks to himself, and That's the idea. and he uh, he figures it out. You know, he doesn't. And this is a significant decision. Although now that I think about it, it's not as bad to have your opponent make his five point when you're anchored. So mm -hmm. if you don't hit, you can expect him to make his five point. But the the yeah. high anchor on the four kind of. Uh, allows you to Tansy's just saying the same thing and you're anchored right yeah you obviously don't want him to get the five point but it's much less painful if you're anchored on the next best spot there anyways well the th thing about this too is he's got if he makes that he's got the five point and he's got an advanced anchor and gets anchors back on the ace so anyway I, I kind of like making the five point but I've been wrong before. Um, what was right there? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, if someone in the chat put it in. Um, they didn't yet, I don't think, probably. It takes them a Hussein while. Hussein will probably say it was making the three. Is that the same play? No. Oh, is, is he talking about the 5-2? I'm not sure. Nichols. Oh, wow. That Nichols. hurts. Make the three Oops. point. Oh, well, well, play Matt the violated the rule again. There's no rolling doubles from the bar. Oh, play the Enter, hit, hit, and make a point. That's just, Neil is right. We should not be allowed to do that. Is this a cube? Yeah. Send it. Oh, uh, he mistyped. No, it was making the five. Okay. Making the five point was right? No? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. Good call, Ray. I'm smarter than I look. I won't, I won't 
I've already used my line in response to that a couple of times today. So I'm yeah, probably... yeah, you must be running out of lines at this point after <laughs> 11 hours a day. <laughs> Ray provides a target-rich environment. Though. <laughs> some some people make themselves easy targets. <laughs> All right, Matt's thinking about. It. Was he thinking he I, might I would be too good? I, I think there Kit's decision is probably tougher than Matt's here. There's blunder potential it's either way here. Four. Kit's a taker. Is this a take? No. no. All right. No. Double pass by thirty-two. What'd you say? Point three. <laughs> point oh three. Two. Oh three. Yeah, that was barely a pass. Oh yeah, then you got to think. There's a lot that can go wrong there. There's <laughs> almost no bad numbers for Matt, and normally you don't hit loose on the two point, but that's one of those rare cases where you're glad to unstack and hit loose on the two. It just leads to a lot of blitzes, and yeah, yeah. White, White didn't have too much going on offensively. But the reason why it was only a small pass is that you win a lot of games, you know, when they're blitzes. Although I haven't won very many in the last year or two. Interesting. So, O thirty twos would have been a big mistake. I think that you, sh as a member of the human race, unless you're playing the computer, you should take all the ones that are O thirty two, and especially if you're down, right? Because you're gonna, you'll get dividends from that. The guy's not gonna play it and get that much equity out. And let's say that. The guy gets 90% of the equity out of it that XG would. It's it's only worth 950 or something, right? So, native player is going to get it. That's true, but the you know the defenders usually making his board and waiting for a shot, you know, and he doesn't lose as much. You know, if he loses a game, he was already losing. Uh, that's less of a swing. Make the five. Yeah, that that was the entire goal of that double tiger play is to to make the five eventually. You don't care if you get hit on the ace. You could even want to get hit on the ace, but if it leads to making the five point, it was worth it. Right, and he'll leave. He may leave it there so he can get hit later, and then Mac uh, can fix his biggest problem mm -hmm. for him. Oh. Yeah, get, getting hit here really doesn't hurt at all. And of course, it's still early enough where you're trying to win going forwards. <coughs> yeah. It's a roll. He hits it. So now what do you do? Um, As I, I, the, I the guess hit, the hit isn't obvious here. Um, right. It's not. That's a hitter, though. Hmm? Yeah, soft drink would be nice. Maybe if that little store is open, one of those yeah, Starbucks drinks. Yeah. Nope. I could have a Diet Coke or something. Okay. Yeah, get your $8 soda here in Vegas. <laughs> okay, one, two. Look at this shake. Yeah, and that was a good decision to hit on the ace because you don't resort to the back game unless you really have to. It's still early enough that you're trying to win going forward. Look at this. This is going to be El Blitzo Deluxo. Matt sitting with it. Huh? Need money? I think the... No, she needed to drive her. Got her to grab her size. The, the two definitely steps up, but with the six, I... He's got a hit, doesn't he? Yeah, I can't think the, just the, the, the concede pay the five point. Yeah, this could easily transition to a, a blitz. Um, wow. I'm kind of Man, I I'm gonna say that was gonna that was a he missed that one. Yeah, I, I would have hit loose on the five. Just the the payoff is pretty big when you get missed. You. Well, then, okay. then Kit didn't roll a five, and Matt did point on it. So, I mean, uh, he's no. getting four, four, away two. with some stuff. Or two, yeah. When does uh, uh, Junior can't do anything with the, this lead and holding the cube? A double fan on a three-point board was 
maybe the only thing that would lead to a redouble there. Because you still have to respect Kit's four prime. And Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, so now Matt really can't redouble anytime soon because of that Coming. anchor. Oh, he can make Ooh. his own four prime or he can escape. Or cover. Or oh, out or and cover. cover. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Really triplicated. Um, That's nice. That was a good call there. It looks like the best of both worlds. I like that. Triplicated. I don't know if it's a word. Uh, <laughs> I think it's well, we get the we get the message regardless. <laughs> I think it's pretty. If we comprende, it must be okay. <laughs> AC Ducey. Oh, this any good? It seizes the reins again. Two one six. No, Matt doesn't ban on two point boards. Oh, Macklin. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon confirmed. Triplicate is a word. Okay, he did. <laughs> Was that, uh, was that Googled or was that just uh That's the Brandon knowledge. thesaurus that he checked. There's some good learning going on in the stream here. <laughs> <laughs> good learning as opposed Please, uh, to bad learning. <laughs> you Google, nice shot. Brandon is Google, he said. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, this, uh, I, does yeah. Matt not want to make the three-point? The burning question. Oh, you you want to do both really badly here. You want to step up with the deuce, but... Yeah, uh, you do. You're going to be totally stripped. Uh, you have 14 points right on the board. So how do you play the three? Now you got to well, hit loose? Yeah, if that's the two, then you do hit loose. I make um, the point. I see your point, Bill. But you really want to recirculate that third checker back. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, there's Aaron Faust, the Blitz champion. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Flamingo. And he provided the complimentary donut today. Man, and we are we are we are grateful. Yeah. Anything without a two is pretty poor here. And look at this six. See, look at matches. He's stall stripped and he just rolls what he needs. And, and, and then he survives. But then long. again, and normally you can't. Oh, make a double play like switch. That. Could he do the double switch on him? Maybe. I guess that would be a little. He could big. just go to the to the do something. Yeah. Yeah. And normally Whoa. you would not break the anchor like that, but you can barely afford to do it when white doesn't have any spares. Uh oh. Look at Matt's that's, prime that's, got him. That's okay. Just don't. I was it. actually when I said uh oh, I thought it was Matt's roll briefly. That would have been. <laughs> uh oh. Again, this time. Now recognizing a, who's on shake. There's a legitimate shot at a gammon here, so. Only you, you want to come in, but you know if you come in on the three, you're probably going to get blasted there. So it might be, actually be safer oh, look to at come this. in on the ace. This is, no, it's not a forced shot, but he's got to crack the board to avoid a shot. Ooh. Yeah, this leaves a handful of numbers unless you just break the eight. That's a little too conservative, I think, though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it might be right, though. That's definitely so, the four. It, it might, he's not uh, leaving so those shots. The alternative play might be, what, six... Seven. The only other play is to come on down Except and in go block. eight to four. Uh, it would hate for this to just turn into a holding game when Matt gets in. Yeah, so well, yeah, he, could, the, the, he the, could slide on the three. The, the, Matt got a blot in his board, so I think you got a that. That's true. Yeah, that's the third play there. Might as well I, break I, this. I'd rather not leave a direct. Ace. Ace point. Um, that's more gammons. Um, 
Kit's considering. Otherwise, you got to do something with that guy on the two point. You got to do that. Take the five point board kit. Gammon him. Yeah. The Gammon the wretch. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah. The, the additional gammons, I think, makes that correct. Although, yeah, it's. White's in a dangerous position here. He might be favored to leave a shot. Well, it's not so dangerous. He'd be glad to roll a four and spank him. There we go. And leave two more blots. Two more or one more? Oh, one more. Hey, okay. I could I could uh yeah, be persuaded yeah. not to leave three blots. You drill here. Matt missed something. All right. Ah, uh, kid. Oh. Have you ever been to Gammon City? I've been to Gammon Village. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Just glancing at the scores here. Vikings were doing great at eight and one, but they're losing to Dallas forty to three. Oh well. Oh my Patriots. Forty to three? Yeah. I saw another score. The Eagles were losing before. Uh they won by one they point. They won by one. By one point? Oh, okay. All right, what's the gammon equity here? I mean, uh, oh, well above fifty. Um, okay, yeah, it seems like it's pretty high. Even if you do come in, it, it's <coughs> well, kid survives some adversity in this game, and if he gammons Matt, he's going to take the lead. Now what? Oh, it's safe. Yeah. No <coughs> extra shot equity. Uh oh. oh that Cuts down on a lot of the G's. Wow. Matt is just a magician sometimes. Kit said, ah, two can play at that Not game. That. <laughs> Kit's smiling and Matt's laughing. This guy's got any experience or what? They must have done a good job soundproofing that room because we're right here. Yeah, we're right here. I was in there and I couldn't hear a thing out here. Well, Needs it's possible, but it's tough. Needs a set, two sets, really. Well, well oh, what, the, what do I know? <laughs> That's the first yeah. half of the tough part. Okay, threes are better. If now you get the to toughest roll. half is If you get up. the roll. Oh, you nope. don't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got a good match going on here. Again, their only problem, they're, they're singing good tunes, but they're following Adele and Celine Dion or something. You know, five and four to eight. So neither one of them are... Uh, Carrying the world up from their perspectives. What oh, did I mention? I, I wanted to have five and kit four point two eight. You're all right, Dara. What are you drinking? Something. <laughs> a little something. Break time. We're taking a break. Need to nice turn that card kit. around when they put it up there like that. Spin that card if we're gonna get. Uh, oh, that tastes gonna, good. We're gonna get an advertisement. We need to. Get... EV backgammon. The the card's yeah. right there. See. <laughs> <laughs> AP. That's that's a. You had him worried there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Then you rolled double sixes and fives. You were trying to save that gammon. He <laughs> does. You were in a Patriots. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm from I, got my, I got my Astros uh, sweatshirt on here. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Congrats on the World Series. They've had a pretty good run. Oh, yeah. I don't have too much sympathy from national fans, but I was rooting for Dusty Baker to get one. He's a good guy. So Yeah. I root for the seventy year old man. 
That's why it's people root for me sometimes. How come we don't have XG analysis in this streaming? Well, because we don't have it being live transcribed. Because Nick Blazer is not here? Because, is that I the mean, simple it's, answer? It's pretty labor intensive to... Uh, we have the graphic capabilities. Centaur has it set up real pretty with fitting into the template and all that. But And we did it at the World Championship. Oh, yeah, it was following it. It looked uh, great. Yeah, it's the graphics just, it's were... labor intensive. I mean, you know, it's, what do you say? Who do you get? Who did you get to run that? They, uh, Mark had hired a, a young Israeli guy named Aviv Ziva. Uh huh. And he was the uh, so there was a guy transcriber the whole time. Oh my God! Really? Now, occasionally, Mate Ferrer would relieve him, but for the most part, it was. And his father used to play backgammon. He was a big buddy of Falafels. His father's name's Felix Ziva. Did you ever run <laughs> no. into him? No. Pretty easy name to remember, right? You know, he's a young Israeli guy. It's kind of an odd name, but I conditioned myself to think of Tel Aviv. So it's Aviv Ziva. Okay, yeah. That's a good mnemonic device there. Hey, while we're talking about uh, players, where's Ed? I think he was having a um, health issue. Yeah, he was having a health issue. We mentioned that earlier and that we should all give a shout yep. out to Ed in case he's watching. Yeah. Hello, Fast Eddie. <laughs> so hopefully he'll be back on the... Uh... So what kind of health issue was it? Well, I don't know that we should publicly uh, okay. <laughs> disclose anybody's <laughs> health issues. Do you have a copy of his x-ray we can uh, put was on the it... stream here? <laughs> was it his mental health? <laughs> My, Jed's getting my, my, my understanding Hi, it was a medical situation. Well, he had that. He recently had a broken neck. Yes, it was unrelated to the broken neck. Yeah, and he went like twenty and zero with the neck brace on. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he played me. Okay, <laughs> the gladiators re-enter the arena. And Matt did too. They saw our tiger cages out in the foyer here. Okay, the, here we the go. The losers get fed to the tigers. That was as mad as I've ever seen Matt when he came out here. So <laughs> 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 he's fixing to see. I told you he's mad. Huh? Get tried that play on him. Such a good roll. I yeah. really prefer this that over is double the fixes. Masters jackpot final, as is denoted on the top right of the screen there. And I should be in it. Great shot, but, but still I'm not. No, no cube yet. Well, oh, yeah, it's no double. Oh, my God. That's very aggressive. He was me. mad. What, what's the market loss here? Making that. I guess maybe That's not double market roll. loss. Um. Well, he had, okay, so he had position, race, and threats, didn't he? PRT. The main tournament final was played immediately preceding this. Superb two hour and 45 minutes of incredible intensity and excitement. Ron Wertheim of Las Vegas <laughs> nipped the Denik Ziska in the final. You know what I found? Mm. Those Vegas players are really tough. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's why you're not leading or don't even attempt to win the Vegas title any longer or what? No, I don't. I just don't play in the club anymore. That was a no double by 52. That's not very far. I mean, it was pretty early, but it was only a slight no double. And that's with the score in consideration. He was down a point. Yeah, Hussein is uh, transcribing this match. So that's interesting because you know Matt did that rather a quick, little earlier. It was and he normally and doesn't. Four point eight. Yeah, I, I don't think you can five get anyone Matt, to pass point. that. Mm -hmm. That was so early that these yeah, the double fours were great, but well, you know what I found is if you okay, here's the deal: you don't want to be doubling any earlier than XG. Unless you've got a chance of stealing something, and you aren't stealing anything from Kit Woolsey. Thank you very much. Um, the, what that results in, though, is you get you roll something and you get a strong position, which didn't happen here because Kit 
equalized by coming out and making the bar. And then you lose a lot of bad beats on those early cubes because you sold a guy a ticket on the backgammon roller coaster for cheap. Look, he's thinking about leaving his anchor and leaving blots all over. Anyway, so now the, the if audience. this game gets really good for Matt, don't be surprised if Kit pulls it out of the fire and wins. The uh, audience begs to know why is Ray not playing in the Las Vegas club any longer? I got kicked out? No. <laughs> 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 no, they, uh, it's low stakes. You got to be there every Tuesday night. Um, don't like some of the guys. So, uh, anyway, I just, and, I'm a little bit like Drew Giovannis. He doesn't play in there. He's he's like a world class player, not <laughs> that, that challenging. Oh look, Matt, he's gonna hit twice. Um, I think you do. Yeah. So I just don't. That's, that's fair enough. In the DC club, we haven't seen some of the giants there. Um, Coco, Mamlet. Um, they just don't show up very frequently. <laughs> Does Coca play much at all anymore? Um, he was. I saw him at uh the Cherry Blossom this year, but mm -hmm. no, I haven't seen him locally. Oh, look at this! That was a good shot. It's a good roll. The other thing <laughs> was, I, I mean, there's certain does. records that they keep, you know. And uh, I had all of them, so that wasn't anything to um nothing to achieve. Chase, huh? Yeah. Winning percentage, most points in a year, stuff like that. If you're into that stuff and it inflates your ego, then you you know play. But <laughs> Ooh, this is see, this is getting ugly for Matt. This is, he's trying to hold on to his advantage. Look out! Follows the nickels with the sixes. Oh, uh, he could put them in the air now, and the little accident could cost Matt a gammon. Oh, I don't know if he I, wants I, to I, put him in the air or not. No, I, I think you try to prime instead of blitz here. I, I like um, that. Well, what's he priming? He's, he did sort of prime him. He, it, put him up and let him fan, and then why well, he's got two blots swinging around there, three blots on the board. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure about the previous double five because the, the 20 and 18 do not This is work a good well. number. Look at Matt. He doesn't ever fan on three-point boards. He Coming comes in five, and covers. He's going to make the eight. There yeah, got absolutely. To. That was a great shake, but look, Kit gets to keep on going. He's got nines and elevens to hit, and low numbers to pound him. Oh, I, maybe I, this I, is better. Matt I, stays I out. I don't of the... think he's going to make this play. I think he stays out of trouble a no, little bit more I like, with that. I like coming in on the twenty and making the eight personally. Well, now that they see got this, five I like this on the better. nine. You know. Yeah, you want to unstack the heavy point, and it's not fatal to get hit loose there on the five. Yeah, but it's kind of fatal if you get pointed on over there. And then the uh, rolls that don't point on you maybe hit the other guy. So, You'd make the three? Yeah, I sort of like it when Matt looked at it. Yeah, See, the, he's looking at his options. Yeah, the stack is so visually ugly. Which, and he stays out of Yeah, it is, but it, which all it's of us really hard do to and leave him Some stacked. of us don't. Yeah. There we go. He can play those later, I guess. Oh, oh well, saying, yeah, confirmed. Yeah, three points. 24 and three is, right. is okay. correct. Wow. Wow, yeah, I would have got that wrong. Good play, Matt. Uh, What's he doing? Two, I, two. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yep, all right. Matt's going to get in trouble yet. It's a three. Oh, good, and stack another one. Uh, if you didn't uh, like the last play, <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to like this yeah, one. I thought Frank. we were talking about unstacking the nine. Well, and... look, he can't leave a blot because he's going to get attacked over there. I've, I've, never, I've never seen a nine point like that. Next four is going to play. <laughs> we doubled Steve Sachs in the doubles final, and he had eight checkers on the six point, and he only had a one point board. He rolled... A couple of really bad numbers. I've never seen anything like that. And he snapped it up, and he beat us in that game. No, Ryan Rebello say, get rid of the 20 point. I don't know if that was on this play or the previous one. Is it now? 
But yeah, that's the problem with having the 20 and the 18. You you just can't keep them both. It's inefficient because those How does points Matt do cover that? He wants to get out, and then area. he just rolls something that gets out. Uh, Kit's going to hit him. Oh, there Seven, it is. There it is. Yep. Oh, this is what I told. This is what so, Matt gets um, for that early cube. Cube. Mm. Oh, my God. Getting close. I, I, Matt has. Man, it's ugly. He could be... Look at Kit. Rolling Look at Kit. He's smiling and he's looking at the thing. He's just so good. Uh, yeah. Kit's tail is wagging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> Look at what one four. Give it to him, Kit. Punish him for that early cube. Look at that stack. Matt might come in with a one four. Something with a four. I, I would recube and yeah, see yeah. What Matt let did. him think about it. Exactly, yeah. I oh. can't imagine Matt would get very excited about seeing a cube here. Nobody would. Look at that. And then right. you know, you take it, and it might be a take, but you always then rolled up one four. Yeah. Who whose uh, rule is that? Oh yeah, Kits. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, let's see. So if Kit figures out. He's not 100% sure this is a take. He's going to send it, right? Are we 100% sure this is a take? I'm not. No, therefore you use Woolsey's Law. And Ian's Cuban. putting it in that, or that, something. That's, uh, Ian said it's a take. Well, wow. I know, said, I'm not wow, surprised that it is, but you have to be 100% sure that it is. And Matt doesn't have a XG available to him. Plus, you can't really like this much. This is no, this is no, a yeah. nauseating position to a human. E five fo okay. three three yeah. five three six. Yeah, Matt would. Uh, okay, now, now Matt gets us three six. <laughs> no, here barely, bro, barely is. We got to give Kit a ticket for not using his rule. <laughs> he broke Kit's Woolsey's law. Yeah. <laughs> He Roberto did. just <laughs> said that. Kit violated Woolsey's law. <laughs> he's gone to the Hooskow. <laughs> Ask him if he's ever heard of this law. <laughs> and then he doubles this. Could this possibly have been too good? Is there any way this is too good? I guess mm, not. Probably not without the uh, full six prime. Three double but pass yeah. by zero zero seven. Ooh, that's borderline. It's a, so it's it's that close to a take. Nobody would like. So it. then he did overshoot his market. Well, what do you think? How many people in a in the open division would take this? Um, a minority, I think. That's one fewer. Matt yeah. didn't. But it was a tiny wow. pass. Oh, good pass by Matt. How would anyone know that, though? But it just goes to show you kind of have to cube aggressively. That's a pretty hard point. I'm convinced the stronger the opponent is, the less likely it is that you're going to nickel and dime them point by point. If you have a chance to grab a chunk of four, you just got to do that aggressively. Okay. Matt, 5-5-2, five, five, kit 4-5-5. Five, five. So neither one of them are... Playing that great. They had that one just god awful ugly second game that they've never recovered. From. <laughs> well, for the average human, those hey, look are at good this. PRs. Yeah. But, uh, this looks like a pretty equal position. Someone's up a pip. <laughs> Double fives? No. Or two. I'm a sucker for the nine point. Yeah. Especially when. Matt might end up with his three. Not a good shot. Brandon's got a comment for you there, Frank. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Brandon Macklin. <laughs> Frank, please don't teach Ray. He's my fish. <laughs> yeah. You want chips with that? <laughs> see if we can tease him into a loose one. I think you can cube this. Correct play to hit and step up. That wasn't the market loser. 
Oh, oh man, that's, uh, I think that's all you got here. You hit lose. Is, uh, yeah. He might need to hit well, lose because one, of, one direct cut. There was a, real, a lot uh, of a lot of oh see, oh for the tempo for yeah, the you tempo. Might be right. Because um, all that white looks like an avalanche the, about to happen. Takes a half a roll out of Kit's hand. You know? Yeah. But, you know, Kit might violate that rule. We can't roll doubles from the bar. Yeah, do you need the tempo? That's the question. Um, the resulting if position of the loose hit. there was ever a position where you would like to, you know... Take away half of his shake. It looks like this is it. Otherwise, you're going to give him sixes, threes, ones, and fours? Maybe I'm just too much of a visual player, but the stack on the eight with the only one direct cover, no spare on the six. Um, I think I go eight, four. But, um, All right. Well, I've fanned on too many three-point boards to just let him roll on this one. Okay, G says it was a hit. All right. Oh, big hit. Big right. hit. Three, two, he would have been picking, pass, and covering. And he would have had to. And he's still up on the bar against the three point. Look at Matt. That's how you get in the finals of all these things. You anchor up instead of fanning there. And then you get missed. Oh, Yeah. Or not much, uh, many attractive plays in that. Can't hit, can't anchor, can't safety. You can run out. You can pump checkers in the outfield. XG does that a lot, Ooh. but that would have been lots of shots. Yeah, and the best play kills a checker. Not kills, but not where you want it there. Oh, Matt's looking at, he's got the, he doubled with a five point, uh, before, well, he's, now he's down 10 to 7. He, he's trailing. There he goes. Boom. Yeah, he he think, doesn't mind playing when he's got the five anchor. And look out, oh, my six, God. Uh, <laughs> Double fours. Look at this. Game's going to be over if he doesn't get a hit on the bar point. One pick from the bar. Double by 42. So it was spot on. b 5 folks. Yep. Huh? That's apparently the Bermuda Triangle. You don't want to be on that square or that triangle. <laughs> I don't know. Everything that goes to the bar <laughs> point clear. disappears mysteriously. Oh, two six two in the bar. Six, but <laughs> that, that's an ugly two six. <laughs> yeah. It's normally bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is an ugly one. I guess I just slot the deuce. Um, now Matt's tail is wagging. <laughs> He's scratching himself. <laughs> AC Doocy. It'd just be there. Well, he doesn't have to do it. Look at that. He just Yeah. He's gonna start the he back of the, the aces, yeah. He duped his own fours, Ooh, too. Job. How'd that work out for you, Matt? <laughs> it's very overrated. I teach you to do them smart-ass college plays, boy. Safety <laughs> that Oh, he lifted that quick. Okay. And look, Kit gets a six what? Six two or something? I can't. Six. That's a. He's pointing or is he? Get, no, he can't get out. He's got a point on him, right? No, oh, six, six four. four. Okay. Attack. Yep, hit loose. And anything that's not a three is pretty poor here. He's nickel. Well, that's convenient. I went to a good spot. It needs a five. Does not get it. Wow. It was hard to imagine a stronger position than what Matt had right before Kit rolled the double ace. Double hit? Two, three. And three. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, Lord. Wow. And now he's got time to roll that Kit's six. Kit's firing some jokers, isn't he? Oh, he's, in fact, he's... 
This is mm. the only question is this too good? I guess it's at this score. Um Yeah. I, it's too good and not good enough, kind exactly, of exactly. Yeah, the, the double take window is pretty small. I Okay. To, unless you're sure I, you just hold it. Now uh, you make the deuce. What's or... you got against the deuce? Yeah, he's I'd, just... I'd make the deuce, yeah. Absolutely. I, yeah, this yeah. is not a priming position. No redouble by four fifty three. Okay. Wow. Yeah, gets in such a strong position because he has time to roll that six. No spares for Matt. Oh, how about switching from the two to the ace? Then he would have sixes and fives firing at the two. Now he's got some cracking numbers. Huh. Woof. Ugh. Speaking of cracking numbers. Oh, man. No. Matt duplicate aces, and that was the last time he moved. Almost. This could, this could leave a mark. Well, leave Kit's a... just kind of, he's free rolling for a gammon here, sort of. If he does that, it's 14 to 7, and we can just about kiss Matt goodbye. Huh? Yeah, nobody loses from scores like 14 to 5, 14 to 7. At least not good player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to really suck if you're going to lose from big <laughs> Crawford scores. What do you do? Kids just. Do you hit on the ace here? Or, well, no, you, you hit that guy you out hit there. hit that guy out there, although you... I mean, that's what he wanted you to do, though. He, he wants that ace anchor. Yeah, good luck getting that. Watch how fast Kid hits him off the ace point. Yeah, I guess the 1-5 one, one back game, even if he did get it, isn't that strong, so I guess... He didn't hit him. Ow. Oh. I'd mean, wait till the next roll, right? Yeah. Or you could play. Well, out. at some point he's going to have to, I guess. <sighs> he's worried about uh, cracking if he gets hit, huh? Yeah, I... Or is he just thinking he's going to re whip him out of the game if he makes the ace? Is there. Would it be such a big pass? I don't know. Five. Okay, yeah, Hussein says 4 1 hit by a lot. Oh, he was Well, the 4 hit. 6 was hit. 4 oh, yeah. 1 hit. <laughs> no, you don't want him to grab the second anchor. Right? So it was right to hit. All right. And all. So this both is of a, those rolls. That's a human failing. You can see the 4 prime on the other side, and you don't want to mess with it, right? The, the 1 so 5 you, is not a strong back game, but you still don't want the guy to get a second anchor. Yeah, that one. The ace anchor is an okay game to you can win that sometime and then he's still see he had to do it later right. well right. you're only facing a three-point board and a four prime on the other side so it's not a good roll faster no i mean you gotta do that faster kit i guess this is what he was worried about but outfield maybe or the outfield you know. max coverage Oh, now Kit's big numbers are good and his little numbers are good. How about this, that one? Is that big enough? One, two, <laughs> three, four. Double five response. But, yeah, well, what a shot. I say this is going to leave a mark. Turn out the lights. The party's hmm. over. That was a. Don't pay attention to Kit's rolls, man. That Matt. was a powerful <laughs> shake. Keep going. Um, whatever is safest. Well, the safest is to leave it there and bear off a checker, but then you got double jeopardy. So, I had a better position than this against Matt.
Okay, not going to fool around with the potential of three disaster right. here. Yeah, you're, there's so much. Yeah, he didn't have any reason. He's a big favorite to win a gammon anyway. Favorite and he has yeah, no 6, sense. 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 crossover. That's... Uh oh. Double yeah, those... Jeopardy is a bozo concept. And Ian <laughs> is making light of you, I think. He doesn't even know what a bozo is. <laughs> what He's is not a bozo? Old enough enough there was a bozo the clown. Bozo <laughs> is. <sighs> Double Jeopardy is a bozo concept. You don't even know what a bozo is. <laughs> Let me put on my big red shoes. Ray knows what a bozo is. He can see one every morning. <laughs> right mark olson oh what was welcome to yeah, the uh, chat line hitting on the ace point hope uh to not hope you've enjoyed some of our streams today and we all certainly thank you for supporting the tournament by letting us use your youtube channel and by providing the boards that we've been using on the streaming tables look at man he's threatening to save this g And Kit's threatening not to let him. All right. Six All you need is double sixes or better. <laughs> sixes or better. Damn it. Just can't get a break. Oh, I hope, uh, Mark, you got to see that championship final this afternoon. If you did not, you need to go back and, and watch that. We're talking some excitement and intensity and in and uh, what have you here we are 14 7 on a football sunday yeah how cool is that all right what's a match equity matt here? wants to get us to overtime frank you know? <laughs> match equity oh i don't know uh, a lot to a little uh a lot to a little <laughs> um now look at this sir there's a there's an instructive play right there matt wants gammon since gammon goes so he brought two, two builders dinners. yep yeah the yeah, the equities I'm not sure of, but I normally just try to count the number of games. It's, so it was phenomenal, so, Mark. You'll he's eight away, so it's you like you need to a lot three hours. Though, I think it's like uh, six and a half percent or something. Everybody's got a different perspective. Sam says it's six percent. Roberto says it's seven percent. It's Ian says it's ninety-two, and Gary Olson says it's ninety-five. So they're <laughs> well, looking at it from the other. Way. Yeah, we'll just take an average of those. Well, Mary Hickey right. told me it was six point six, so I'm taking her word over everybody else's. I haven't seen Mary Hickey in ages. Oh, oh, you want points, Matt? Make the five point. Take the five it's point. It's tempting, especially when you unstack two heavy points. Here. Yeah. Get rid of them railroad tracks. Although you are expecting to get hit. If yeah, you, you are. And then you hit, hit back. Hit by 12. It's a hit by 0 oh, 12. One, two. Oh, that's, not, that's close, huh? So, But the five point probably does lead to more gamblers. Just the theory of wanting the five point is enough to... Two six from the bar? You don't have to prompt it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Everybody enjoys that. I, I like hearing it. They like it. <laughs> he needs no prompts. <laughs> Two six from the bar? That didn't happen twice in a row, did it? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that was my. almost another one. It, it did anchor, which does Matt wish he had his five point now? It's a good time if you're gonna, you know, you can't get, you can't get doubled after dancing twice in a row. 
Yeah, I'm. Just only because of the score does that even make it possible. That it's right, I suppose. Amazing. One, one exchange, the entire. Oh yeah, use those Completely changed. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to have the five point here? I <laughs> think might be a. Oh no no. A little late here. At least you could start it, all right? You could have already had it. Oh, kid's rolling like he wants to be the champion. Like he needs a trophy. <laughs> bit of a pad of sloppiness on Thursday, was it? Got us into a big early brouhaha on this board. But, uh, yes, people could do a little, <laughs> little better in housekeeping of putting their checkers on precisely on the points. Uh-oh. That may be the... Who they go close to the last bad thing that's gonna happen to Matt. The next bad thing is gonna be last. Oh, he's got a look at that. See, there's a man's play right there. Yeah, you can afford to do that when the game is. You need to have matter. some hairy knuckles for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about did she come into the eighteen and then bury one to the ace? That's a possibility that adds some extra shots into the mix. Yeah, you, you get to see more exciting plays sometimes when the gammons don't count. Rebello says kid is triggering his OCD. <laughs> oh boy. Six what? Six two? Oh boy. Okay, that's the last bad thing. I hear uh, Rosie O'Donnell warming up in the wings <laughs> look he's not gonna hit this is great see that oh these guys are so smart that's a jim pasco would love that oh so maybe he should have cleared no he's not gonna clear okay Sometimes you can pre-clear the six with yeah, two on the roof. Yeah, but that but. wasn't it. You leave a two-six from the bar. That would be particularly offensive. Yes, there is uh, Slim and none, and Matt. Slim sticks in the lead town. <laughs> Shake. The next move is a handshake. <laughs> he already he stopped the clock. It had to take a call. Hello? Bob, I the Grim Reaper's calling. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Why take a call there? He forfeit for using your phone. <laughs> Where's the director? <laughs> Ruling. <laughs> Both worked it down a little bit, four four and three eight five. But they had that that second game was just a nightmare disaster of complication that blew them both up early. That'll be an, that'll be enough. Oh, Matt's gonna still roll. That's still very respectable. So I'd take it. Who's three eight five? Kit. Yeah. Yeah, Kit's three eight five. Matt's four. Matt's just trying to save the G. And, and that pretty, would, uh, and the purpose of that right. would be, I don't know, he just, he go. <laughs> so he didn't have to concede. <laughs> okay, Baggammon fans, that concludes our streaming coverage of the Las Vegas Open. So uh, congratulations to everyone. Congratulations to the winners. We had a couple of great matches this afternoon. Kit winning the Masters uh, jackpot and... Uh, Ronald Wertheim winning the championship division and one of the all-time classic matches. Y'all need to uh, go back and watch that if you didn't see it. 
And, and kid uh, avoided a bad beat there. Yeah, so he would have taken third if he'd lost that. Thanks to all our congratulations, Kit. Commentators, thanks to Rory and his staff. Thanks to uh, Mark Olson and Galaxy Backgammon Galaxy for all of their support that they provided. And uh, we move on. Next tournament is in Los Angeles in three weeks. The California State Championships. Then we go to New York Metro. Then the Texas Backgammon <laughs> Championships. Then the Atlanta Spring Classic. So uh, support your tournaments and uh, attend as you may. So uh, thank you, everyone. Yeah, if anyone wants it, I, I have that final too. And Roberto's making that uh, offer to everyone. So uh, let us know if you want to have it. And uh, we'll see you all at the next stop along the road. Get in here and talk to Will Bill. Frank be in San Antonio for the UBC? No pressure mm -hmm. here? Um, maybe not the UBC, but... Um, maybe not the UBC, but maybe otherwise. In it, San it is a great tournament, though. Okay. It was fun when the Patriots were in the Super Bowl four out of six years. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to great, great, rejoice great, in great the... memories of that, <laughs> that Atlanta game, that Seattle game. I have good memories of the, the Menger. Okay. It's, it's not at the Menger. It's though, at right? the Gunter, which is just two or three blocks down the road, and another classic old hotel that's been very oh, nicely oh, yeah, refurbished. Yeah, but uh, great venue. Okay. Yeah, right, well, UBC USA right, in San thanks, Antonio. Bill. It was fun. Okay, good night all, and we gotta start breaking it down. So uh, break it down, clown. <laughs> <laughs> next time Someone around. Wanted me to say that. Thank you. Thank you very much. For all the work you do, Bill. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. Uh, oh.